Hi, I am a tutor in Naplas. Today we are going to discuss about Java fundamentals. Java fundamental history, JDK and JRE, bytecode and JVM, Java virtual machine, platform independent. Application and applets, uh, principles of groups. Uh, first, Java application. Java is a general purpose object oriented programming language de developed by uh, Sun Microsystems of USA 1991, originally called uh, Work by Games Gosling. One of the invention of uh, the language, Java was designed for the development of the software for consumer electronic devices like the TV, VCR, toasters, and such other electronic wishes, they give this goal had a strong impact on the development team to make the language simple, portable, and ideally readable. The Java team, which included Patrick Norton, discovered the, that the existing languages like C and C++ had limitation in terms of both readability and portability. However, they modeled the new language uh, Java on C, C++, but removed a number of features of the C and C++ that were considered a source of problems and thus made Java really simple, reliable, portable, and powerful language. 1990, um, Java Milchons, uh, 1990, Sun Microsystem decided to develop special software that could be used to manipulate consumer electronic devices. A team of Sun Microsystem programmer headed by James Gosling was formed to undertake this task in 1991 after exploring the possibility of most object-oriented programming languages in C++. The team announced a new language named Work. The team, in 1992, the team uh, known as Green Project Team by Sun demonstrated the application of the new language to control a list of home appliances using a handheld device with a tiny uh, touch uh, sensitive screen. 1993, the World Wide Web appeared on the internet and transformed the text uh, based internet into graphical rich environment. The Green Project the, the team came up uh, with the idea of developing web applets any programs uh, using the new language that could uh, run on all types of computers connected to internet. In 1994, the team developed a web browser called Art Java to locate and run applet uh, uh, programs on internet. Art uh, Java demonstrated the power of new language, thus making it in, uh, instantly popular among the internet users. Work was, uh, 1990 work was named Java due to some legal snacks. Java is just a name and is not an acronym. Most popular companies, including Inescape and Microsoft, announced to, to their support to Java. In 1996, Java established uh, uh, itself uh, not only uh, a leader for internet programming, but also as general purpose object oriented language. Java all its home. The most striking features of the language is that it is fast one neutral language. Java is a fast uh, programming language that is not tied to any particular hardware operating system. Features of Java uh, compiled and interpreted, platform minimum portable, object oriented, robust, and secure, distributed, familiar, simple, and small, multi threaded, interactive, high performance, uh, dynamic, and extensible. Uh, Java. Um, uh, Java, uh, JDK and JRE, Java environment include a large number of development tools and um, hundreds of classes and methods. The uh, development tools are part of the system known as Java Development Kit, and the uh, classes and methods are part of the Java uh, uh, standard library, also known as the appli application programming interface. Uh, JDK develop, uh, Java Development Kit comes with a collection of uh, tools that are used for developing and running uh, Java programs. They include Applet Viewer uh, enables us to run uh, applet, Java applets without using Java compatible browser. Java Interpreter, uh, which runs applets and applications by reading and interpreting uh, bytecode files. Java ASE, the Java compiler, Java uh, which uh, will translate Java source code by, to bytecode by files that the interpreter understand. Java doc creates a streamlined format documentation for um, Java source code files. Java H uh, provides header files for use with native methods. Java P, Java disassembler, uh, which uh, enables to con uh, convert white code file into a program description. JDB, Java debugger, which helps us to find errors in our program. Byte code, 
and JVM, Java um, virtual machines. Yes, this is a platform independence is a differing characteristics of Java. It is important to understand how it is achieved. Uh, program exists in two forms, source code and object code. Source code is the textual version of the program that you uh, write using a text editor. The program is printed in a book or shown as source code. The executed form of the program is object code. The computer program can execute object code. Typically, the object code is specific to a particular CPU. Therefore, it is it cannot be executed on a different platform. Java removes this feature in a very elegant manner. Like all computer language, Java program begins with its source code. The difference is what happens when a program is compiled. Instead of producing executable code, the Java compiler produces an object code that contains byte code. Byte codes are instructions that are not uh, <coughs> are any specific CPU. Instead, they are designed to be interpreted by the Java virtual machine. The key to Java platform independence comes from the fact that the same byte codes can be executed by any Java virtual machine or any platform, as long as there is a Java virtual machine implemented for a, a given environment. It can run away uh, any Java program. For example, Java programs can execute under Windows 98 Solar, is I, I, IRX, or any other platform for which a JVM can be implemented for that platform. This would then allow any Java program to execute in that new environment. Platform independent um, compilation um, is a process of converting the code that uh, you uh, type into a language that uh, the computer program understands, computer understands machine language. When you compile a program, the compiler checks for a syntactical errors in the code and lists all the errors on the screen. You have to rectify the errors and recompile the program to get the machine language code. Java compiler. Compiler code to byte code that is understood by the Java environment. The byte code is a result of the compiling of a Java program. You can execute this code on any platform. In other words, due to the byte code compilation process, interpretation uh, by a browser, uh, Java programs can be executed on a variety of hardware and operating system. The only requirement is that the system should have a Java enabled internet browser. The Java compiler is written in Java and the interpreter is written in uh, C. The Java interpreter can execute Java code directly on any machine on which the Java interpreter has been installed. Application and applets. There are two types of programs uh, that can be built in Java applications and applets. Applications can be directly executed by a JVM. In fact, Java can be used to develop programs for, for all kinds of applications, or Java itself is a yes, Java application program. Applets are a small programs developed for internet application and applet located on distant computer server can be downloaded via internet and executed on a local computer client using a Java enabled browser. We can develop applets for doing everything from simple animated graphics to complex games and utilities. Since applets are embedded in an HTML document and then run inside a web page, creating and running applets are more complex than creating application. Standalone in the program can uh, read and write files and perform certain operations that applets cannot do. Um, an applet can only run within a browser, web browser. The web browser includes a JVM that provides an execution environment for the applet. It is also possible to use a tool called Applet Viewer to run the, an applet. This utility is included in the Java development kit and is used to test applets. In this manner, an applet written by any developer in the world may be dynamically downloaded uh, from the web browser and executed on a client PC or workstation. Java program, source code, Java compiler, Java virtual machine by code, process compilation by uh, byte code, virtual machine, Java interpreter, machine code, trail machine, process of converting byte code into machine code. Java uh, source code, Java compiler, Java enabled processor, output, Java interpreter, output. Uh, applet type and application type. Principles of whoops. Object oriented programming attempts to emulate the real world in software uh, systems. The real world consists of objects characterized in classes. In object oriented programming classes, have attributes represented by a data member. Uh, the attributes distinguish an object of class. The classes have behaviors uh, which are represented by methods. The methods define how an object acts or reacts features of object-oriented programming, information encapsulation, ID. 
objects um, provide the benefit of information writing, electrical writing and in a television should not be tampered with, uh, tempered with and therefore should, should be hidden from the user. Object-oriented programming allows you to encapsulate data that you do not want users of the object to access. Typically, attributes of a class are encapsulated. Abstraction. Abstraction allows us to focus on only those parts of the an object that concern us. Person operating the television does not need to know the intricacies of how it works. The person just needs to know how to switch it on, change channels, and adjust the volume of all the details that are necessary to users are encapsulated, leaving only a simple interface to interact with, providing users with only what they need to know is known as abstraction. It is abstraction that has ignored the irrelevant details and concentrate on the essentials. Inheritance. Inheritance is a process by which an object of one class um, acquire the properties of objects of another class. Inheritance supports uh, the concept of hierarchical classification in the MOOC. The concept of inheritance provides the idea of reusability. This means that we can add additional features to an existing class without modifying it. This, uh, this is possible by deriving a new class from the existing one. The new class will have the combined features of both the classes. Polymorphism. Polymorphism is one interface, multiple implementation, shape, ellipse, rectangle, uh, triangle. The class shape defines a method called get area that returns the area of the shape. However, this method is not implemented by that class. Therefore, it is an abstract method and the shape is an abstract class. This means that no object uh, of class uh, shape can be created. However, the functionality of that class can be initiated by the, each subclass. The subclasses of shape like electric triangle, triangle do implement the gate area method. Gate area method. First Java application. Create the file. Uh, the first step uh, to create the allowable application is, is to copy the text from the listing 7.1 into the file called allowable dot java using for your favorite text editor by choosing windows notepad or simple text on the macintosh it is very important to call the file allowable dot java because the compiler expects the name uh, file name to match to the class identifier this thing 7.1 the allowable application public class allowable public static void main string args uh, uh, system dot out print line allowable <laughs> Class declaration, uh, the first line, uh, um, the, the uh, first line public class allowable declares a class, uh, which is an object-oriented construct as stated. Earlier, Java is two object-oriented language, and therefore, everything must be placed inside a class. Class is a keyword and declares that a new class definition follows. Opening brace, uh, every class definition in Java begins with an opening brace and ends with a matching closing place appearing in the last line in the uh, example. The main method, uh, every Java application program must include the main method. This is starting point for the interpreter to begin the execution of the program. A Java application can have any number of classes, but only one of them must include a main method to initiate the execution. Public, the key, keyword public is an access, especially that it class the main method as unprotected and therefore makes it uh, to accessible to all other classes. Static, the keyword static, which declares this method as one that belongs to the entire class and not uh, that uh, a part of any objects of the class. The, may, may, the main must always be declared uh, as static since the interpreter uses this method before any object are created. Void the type modifier void states that the main method does not return any value. All parameters to a method are declared inside a para parenthesis. Here, if the string args uh, square by two open close declares a parameter named args, uh, which contains an array of objects of the class type string. The output line, the output executable statement in the program is uh, system dot out dot print line hello world. Since the Java is a two object oriented language, every method must be a part of an object. The print line method is a member of the uh, out object, which is static data member of system class. And the, uh, this line prints hello world to the screen. The method print line 
always appoints a new line character to the end of the string. Compile code. Compile code. Uh, to compile the program, uh, you need to first install the JDK. Then the user uh, use the program Java C to run in the, with the JDK to convert the uh, text in the listing uh, the to code, uh, which the compiler can run. You to run the uh, Java C on a Macintosh stack, the source file or the Java C icon on any other computer, uh, type the line Java hello world dot uh, Java at a uh, command prompt. The Java C uh, program creates a file called hello world dot class from the uh, hello world dot Java file. Inside this file, hello world class class is the text known as byte course, which can run, be run by the Java interpreter. Run the program. Now, now that you have compiled the program, you can run it by typing at the command prompt Java hello world. After you do this, the computer should print to the screen of the world. That may not uh, seem very interesting, but then it is simple program. If you don't see uh, the other world on the screen, go back and make sure you have typed in the file exactly as shown in the lesson 1.1 and make sure that you call the file hello world.java. Java controls. <laughs> Variables and constants are automatic operator and expression types uh, conversion in Java. Commands in Java three types Java uh, control statement if, if else, do while, while uh, for increment and decrement operators, escape sequence characters, relation and logical operators, ternary operators, switch case, break, bitwise operators, array single and multi dimensional. Um, variables and constants. Constants uh, in Java refer uh, to a fixed value that do not change during the execution of the program. Java supports several types of constants given in figure below. Java constants, you know, numeric constant, integer real, character constant, character uh, string. Integer constants refer to a sequence of digits. Uh, there are three types of integers, namely decimal, octal, and hexadecimal integer. Decimal integer consists of, uh, of a set of digits, zero to nine, preceded by an optional minus sign. An octal integer constant consists of an, any combination of digits uh, from the set uh, 0 to 7 with a uh, ending 0, uh, leading 0. A sequence of digits preceded by OX or 0X uh, uh, is considered as excitement integer. They may have also include in alphabets A through F. Real constants, integer. Constants are uh, inadequate to represent quantities that vary conditions such as distance, height, temperature, prices, and so on. These qualities are represented by numbers containing fractional parts like 17.546. Such numbers are called real. The real number may also be expressed in exponential or scientific notation. For example, the value to 215.65 may be written as 2.1565 e2 in exponential notation. e2 means uh, multiplied by. To the general form is matrix IE exponent. Matrix I is either a real number expressed in decimal notation or an integer. The exponent is an integer with an optional plus or minus side. The letter E separating the matrix and exponent can be written in either lowercase or uppercase. Since the exponent causes the decimal point to float, this notation is set to represent a real number in floating point form. A single character. Uh, uh, constant, a single character constant, or simply, uh, simply character constant contains a single character and flows within a pair of single quotes marks. For example, a character uh, constants are uh, within quotes 5, within quotes 6, so on. Sync constant, a sync constant is a sequence of characters that flows within two quotes, double quotes, uh, within double quotes. The character may be out by digits, special characters, and blank verses. Example, uh, uh, within double quotes, allow Java, uh, allow space Java, or within double quotes, means principal variable. A variable is an activate that denotes a storage location used to store a, uh, a data value, unlike constant that remain unchanged during any execution of the program. Examples of variables, average, height, total, underscore height. Variable name uh, consists of all four digits, the underscore, and the dollar um, characters. The rules to write a variable identifier in Java, they must be not begin with digit, upper and lower case are distinct. This means that the variable total 
is not the same as uh, the uh, total or total. It is not, uh, should not be a keyboard. White space is not allowed. Variable names can be any of any length. Data types. Data types in Java, primitives, intrinsic, uh, numer numeric, and non numeric, integer, floating, character, boolean, non, non primitive, derived classes, arrays in interface, integer type, Java consists of four uh, digit types, wide, short, init, long, uh, which are defined as 8, 16, 32, and 64 bit child values as summarized in the table below. The Java Java integer primitives, byte size uh, eight, uh, minimum 128, maximum one, two, 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 uh, plus 257, uh, short 16 minus two, 32768, plus 32767, init uh, 32 minus 2147483648, uh, uh, Maximum uh, 9223372036854775807. Integer int literals can be specified in decimal hexadecimal or octal notation. To specify a decimal value, simply choose the number as normal. To indicate a literal value in, in, in say long, uh, you, you can happen either L, capital L, or small n to the end of the number. Hexadecimal values are given in base 16 and Include uh, digits 0 to 9 and the letters A to F. To specify extra general, use 0x followed by the digits and letters that comprises of the value. Similarly, an octal is uh, uh, identified by the leading word symbol. Uh, for example, uh, of specific integer letters C is able 3.7. Integer 0, 1, 10, 15, 16, 100, long 0, L, 1, L, 10, L, 15, L, 16, 100, L, up to uh, uh, 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 7, 0, 2, 2, 0, 1, 4, 4, x, 0, x, 0, 0, x, 1, 0, x, a, 0, x, f, 0, x, 1, 0, 0, x, 6, 4, 14 point types. Support uh, for floating point numbers in Java is provided uh, through two primitive type float and double, which are 32 and 64 bit values respectively. Similar to integer letters or Java floating point letters, floating point letters can be specified in either FMD decimal notation, for example, 3.1415, or exponential notation, for example, 6.02 E23, uh, to indicate that a letter is to be treated as a single question flow append either F or F to indicate that uh, it is uh, to be treated as double position value upon uh, either a small D or capital D. Java include three different concepts, positive infinity, negative infinity, and NAND to represent infinity and not the number of values. The following uh, list shows valid floating uh, point letters, 43.3 F. Uh, 3.1415D, minus 12.123F, 6.02E, plus 23F, 6.02E, 23D, 6.02E, minus 23F, 6.02E, 23D. Boolean, Java supports two Boolean letters, true and false. Character letters, a character letter is a single character, or an escape sequence, uh, in close, uh, 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 in single quotes, uh, for example, B escape sequence are used to indicate special characters as actions such as line feed, form feed, or carry return. The available escape sequence are shown as in table 3.8. And string literals, although there are no string primitive type uh, in Java, you can include uh, string literals um, uh, in your programs. Most applications and applies will make you of some form of string letters, probably at least uh, for error messages. A string letter consists of zeros or more characters, including the escape sequence shown in table 3.8, enclosed in double quotes. An example of string letters consider the following A uh, string, column one slash uh, T, column two, 
escape sequence sequence uh, slash b backspace uh, slash t uh, as another tab slash n nine feet slash left pound feet slash or car address slash uh, double quotes double quotes slash single quotes single quote slash slash backslash slash u x x x unicode character arithmetic operators expressions an expression is operator and operands it follows the rules of algebra it should be familiar java allows several types of expressions the arithmetic operators are given below plus addition minus subtraction star multiplication slash division percentage modulus uh, plus equal to addition and assignment uh, minus equal to subtraction and assignment star equal to multiplication and assignment slash equal to division assignment percentage equal to modulus assignment plus plus increment minus minus decrement an expression uh, may appear on the right side of the an assignment statement for example integer answer answer is equal to 100 in short 31 java should may contain um, variables constants or both uh, for example assuming that number and count are variables this expression is perfectly valid answer count uh, is equal to count minus 100 Increment, decrement operators. Uh, the increment and decrement operators are used with one variable. They are known as unary operators. Plus plus increment operator minus minus decrement operator. For instance, the increment operator plus plus adds one to the operand as shown in the next line of the code. X plus plus is same as X plus equal to one. To decrement and increment, uh, to increment and decrement operator behaves slightly differently based on the side of the operand they are placed on. If the operand is placed before the operator, for example, plus plus x, the increment occurs before the value is taken uh, for the expression. So uh, in the following code frag uh, fragment, the result is of uh, y is 6, the increment x is equal to 5, the integer x is equal to 5, increment y is equal to plus plus x, y is equal to 6, and x is equal to 6. If the operator appears after the operand, the addition occurs after the value is taken. So y is 5, as shown in, uh, in the X code fragment. Uh, notice that both the examples x is six at the end of the fragment. Uh, integer x is equal to five. Integer y equal to x plus plus. Y is equal to five. X is equal to six. Similarly, the decrement operator subtracts one from the operand, and the timing of this is in relation to the evaluation of the expression that it occurs in. The relational operator. And the most intuitive operator operators are those that fall into the category known as relation operators. Relation operators include those standard greater than less than symbols we learned about back in third grade. Convenient enough, they work in the same way as they did back in third grade too. For instance, you know that if you write three greater than four, you wrote something wrong, false. Uh, on the other hand, three greater than less than four is correct too. In Java, most and most other languages, you are not uh, limited to evaluating function. You are free to use variables, uh, so statements, uh, democrat, uh, that the uh, revolution is not valid. The complete list of relation operators is shown here. Operation operator would be less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. The following two assignment statements producing identical results. This is A plus B, less than C, star D. Uh, result two within bracket a plus b less than c star d. Logical expression, the third set of evaluation operators fall into category known as logical expressions. Logical expressions work a bit differently than the previous operators and are probably not uh, something you covered in your, your third grade math class. Uh, logical expressions uh, operate either on a pair uh, of booleans or on an individual bits of an object. There are two types of logical operators uh, which are provided uh, divided roughly along these lines Boolean operators, only operate on Boolean modules. Bitwise operators operate on each bit in a pair of integral operands, the conditional and the uh, and and conditional R operators. There are two primary Boolean operators logical and 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 logical R or R. Oddly, uh, in most computer languages, including Java, this is no conditional XR operator. Uh, when A is uh, false, A and B is false, A and N false, A or R false, uh, false true, uh, false true, true false, false true, true true, true true. 
The conditional operator is the one uh, ternary or triadic operator in Java and operates it as it does in C or C++. It takes the following uh, form, uh, expression, question mark, one question mark, expression two, colon, expression three. In this context, expression one must produce a Boolean value. If this value is true, the expression two is related and it, it, its result is the value of the condition. If the expression is false, the expression three is evaluated and its result is the value of the conditional. Consider the following example. The first is using the conditional operator to determine the maximum of the two values. The second is determine the minimum of the two values. The uh, third is determine the observed value of the quantity. Best return is equal to stocks greater than bonds. Uh, question mark, stocks or bond. Uh, low sales, uh, June sales, less than jewelry sales, uh, June sales, column jewelry sales. Distance site minus site two, site one minus site two greater than zero, site one minus site two, or site two minus site one. In reviewing this example, think about the precedence rules and convenience yourselves, convince yourself that none of the three examples require any brackets in order to evaluate, to be evaluated correctly. Type convention, uh, implicit type convention, Java uh, performs a number of implicit type convention. Uh, when evaluation for unary operators such as plus plus and min or minus minus, the situation is very simple. Operands of type uh, byte are short or converted to a unit. All other types are left as is. For uh, binary operators, the uh, situation is only slightly more complex. For operations involving only integer operands, uh, if either of the operand is long, then the other is also converted long. Otherwise, both operands are converted to integer. The result of the expression uh, is an integer and thus the value produced is so large that uh, a long is required. Our operation is not only at least one floating point operand. If either of the operands is double, then the other is also converted to double, and the result of the expression is also a double. Otherwise, both operands are converted to float, and the result of the expression is also a float. Fortunately, implicit conversions take place almost always without your right uh, wanting or needing to know. The compiler handles all the details of adding bytes and uh, units together so you don't have to uh, short width or long length area. Area is your length into width in addition in the division below uh, uh, will be converted to a double. The slash slash and the result of the calculation will be a double. Conversion uh, and the cache operator. Normally, with the implicit conversion, the conversion is so natural uh, that you don't even notice. Sometimes, this is, though, it is important to make sure a conversion occurs between two types. Uh, do, doing this uh, type of conversion requires an explicit cast by using the cast operator. The cast operator consists of a type name within the round bracket. It is a unary operator within with high precedence and comes before its operand, the result of which is a variable of the type specified by the cache, but which has the value of the uh, original object. The following examples uh, show an example of an explicit cache code x is equal to 0.04, y is equal 1.1, x minus integer x by y star y. And when x is divided by y in this example, the type of the result is a floating point number of the value of x by y is explicitly converted to type integer by the cache operator resulting in a one or non, not 1.2. So the end result of this equation is <coughs> x equal to 1.1. Not all conversions are legal. For instance, Boolean values cannot be cast to any other types, and objects can only be converted to a parent class. Caching and converting integers, the four integer types that can be cast to any other type except Boolean. A word cast into a smaller type can result in a loss of data and a cache uh, to a floating point number float or double um, will probably result in the loss of some precision and thus the integer is a whole number uh, power of two for example one two four eight uh, caching uh, and converting characters uh, characters can be cast in the same way um, uh, 16 bit short integers or cache that is, you can cast it to be anything, but if you cast into a smaller type, right, you lose some data. In fact, even if you cannot maintain a character in the short, you 
uh, and lose some data. If you are using the AND character set, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean, you can close data by casting a character into a short. Same between the class, the top bit will be lost. Casting and converting boolean. There are uh, not any direct ways to cast or convert a boolean to any other type. However, if you are intent on getting an integer to a, uh, have a value, uh, have a zero or one value based on the current value of the boolean, use if uh, else statement or imitate the following code the integer j uh, boolean uh, true false, j is equal to true false. Small one uh, zero integer with j uh, gets one if uh, tf is true and zero otherwise conversion the other way and be done with the zero to be equal to false and uh, anything else equal to true as follows integer j boolean tf tf uh, j not equal to zero a boolean uh, tf is true if j is not uh, zero or false otherwise comments in Java. Java supports three types of commands. Uh, the limiters are the traditional uh, slash star and slash star slash of C, and the slash slash of C plus plus are the new variant that starts with uh, slash star star and ends with star slash. The st uh, slash star and slash star slash is used to enclose text that can, that is stated to be as a command by the compiler. These delimiters are useful when you want to designate an empty piece of code as a command as shown in the following with the slash star. This command uh, that will span the multiple source line for code lines star slash. These slash slash command delimit is borrowed from the C that is used to indicate that the rest of the line is delimited as a command by the Java compiler. This type of command delimit is particularly useful for adding commands adjacent to line of code as shown in the following. And they have date today, new date, uh, slash slash, uh, create an object with today's date, and system dot out dot online dot today, display the date. And uh, the finally, the uh, slash star star and star slash delimiter are new to Java and are used to indicate that the enclosed text is to be treated as common with the complex, uh, that, but that the text is also part of the automatic class definition that can be generated using Java doc. The Java uh, comment delimiter are summarized uh, in table. Uh, slash, slash start end purpose, uh, slash start, start slash, the enclosed text is treated as a comment, slash slash, then the rest of the line is treated as a comment, slash star start, star slash, the enclosed text is treated as a comment by compiler that is used by Java docs to automatically generate documentation. The Java control statements. The control statement uh, selection uh, statement if you fail switch, attention statement while do form, and jump statement break, continue, uh, return. Selection statement these uh, select uh, one, of, one of the several control law flows. There are three types of selection statement in Java if you fail switch, if statement, the statement, the if statement is a powerful decision making statement and it's used. To control the flow of execution of statements, if it is a two way decision statement and it's used in conjunction with an expression, the general form is if test expression statement block uh, statement x. Uh, if it allows the complete behavior of the expression first, and then depending on whether the value of the expression, regulation, or condition is true or false, it transfers the control to a particular statement. If the statement is true, then the statement block is will be executed, otherwise, the statement block. Will be executed skipped and the execution will jump to the statement X. It should be remember that uh, when the condition is true, both the statement block and statement X are executed in sequence. Example class demo public static white main string args with args start length equal to the zero system out print line. We must have command line argument. If else statement, if else test expression, true block statement, else false block statement, and then statement X. If the test expression uh, is true, then the block, the true block statement executed will be follow the uh, if statement or executed. Uh, otherwise, the false statement will be executed, uh, not both, uh, not both. In both cases, the 
control distances of the under statement that's testing of if in statement if test condition one if test condition two statement two and else statement two else statement three the statement that if condition one is false statement three will be executed otherwise it will uh, continues to perform the statement and second test uh, if the condition two is true the statement one may be able to address the statement two will be able to then control is time to test and statement x switch statement the java switch statement is ideal for testing a single expression against a series of possible Values and executing or associated with the magic phase statement switch expression case value one block two break place value two block two break default block break statement x iteration statement these specify a word when grouping will take place there are three types of iteration statements why does go on for the part statement, the first layer of a loop enables you to specify a starting value for a loop counter, specify the test condition and that, that would exit the loop and indicate how the loop counter should be incremented after each pass through the loop. This is definitely a statement that offers a lot of bang for the buck. The syntax of a Java statement is as follows for initialization, test expression increment. A statement, for example, a sample uh, for loop only appear as follows. Well. Init count for count equals zero, count plus another count plus plus system that output pretend count equal to plus count. In this example, the initialization statement of loop for loop sets count to zero, the test expression is uh, count less than 100, indicates that the loop should continue as long as the count is less than 100. Finally, the increment statement increments the value of the count by one. As long as the test expression is true, the statement follows the following for, for loop setup will be executed as follows system dot output line count equal to plus count. Of course, you probably need to do more than one thing inside the loop. Uh, that is easy to do as using curved braces to indicate the scope of the for loop. While statement related to the for loop is while well loop. The syntax for a while loop is as follows. Uh, while Boolean expression statement, uh, as you can tell uh, um, uh, from the simplicity of this, uh, the Java um, uh, while loop does not uh, have the built in support for installation and incrementing variables that its uh, for, uh, for loop does. Because of this, you need to be careful to initialize the loop counters pair to the loop and increment them within the body of the while loop. For example, the following uh, code fragment will display a message five times. In it, uh, count zero, while count less than five, system dot out dot print count is equal to plus count, count plus plus. The do while statement, the final loop will construct in Java, uh, the do while loop. The syntax for do while loop is as follows do statement while Boolean expression. This is similar to the while loop, except that. Uh, a do while loop is guaranteed to execute at least once. It is possible that a while loop and may not execute at all the particular the test expression using using the loop. For example, consider the following method: public void show yes in it year while year less to system, system print out line and system out print line year uh, is plus year year, year plus plus. This method is passed a year value. Then loops over the year displaying the message as long as the year is less than 2000. The year starts in 1996. The message will be displayed for the years 96, 97, 98, 99. However, what happens if the year starts with 2000? Because the initial test year, uh, year less than 2000 will be false. The while loop will never be entered. Possibly, a do while loop has all this problem because a do while loop. Performance this expression testing after the body of the loop is as executed for each pass. It will always be executed at this one. This is a very valid distinction between the two types of loops, but it can also be a source of potential errors. Whenever you use a do while loop, you should be careful to consider the first pass through the body of the loop. Jumping. <laughs> of course, it is not always easy to write uh, all of the one. While and do uh, while loops so uh, that they are easy to read and 
get the loops terminated on exactly the right pass through the loop. Java makes it easier to jump out of the loops and to control the other areas of the program flow with its break and continuous statement. The break statement, earlier in this chapter, you saw how the break statement is used to execute a switch statement in a similar way, and a break can be used to execute a loop. As an example of this, consider the following code. Hit year 1909, while did cups win uh, the World Series uh, year for equal to equal to all system that out that content did not win uh, in plus year. If year is greater than equal to the system out that content, time to give up, go to uh, soft break. System out that content loop executed on the year plus year. This example shows uh, a while loop that will continue to execute until it finds a year that uh, the Chicago Cubs uh, won the World Series because they have not won since 1908 and the loop counter year starts with 1909. It has a lot of things to do for each year they don't win. A message is still to avoid even die out Cubs fans will eventually give up and change allegiances to the uh, Chicago White Shop. In this example, if the year is 3000 or later, a message is displayed and then a break encounter is encountered. The break statement will cause the control to move to the first statement after the end of the while loop. In this case, that uh, will be the following event system that out the front end loop existed on the year plus year. The continuous statement, just as a break statement, can be used to move program control to immediately after the end of the loop. The continuous statement can be used to force the program control back to the top of the loop. Arrays. One dimensional array is a list of variables of the same type that are uh, accessed through a common name. An individual variable in the name array is called an array element. Arrays from a convenient way to handle groups of related data to create an array. You need to perform two steps, declare array, Allocate a space for each element. General form of declaring one dimensional array is given below. Type name, variable name, square bracket open close. Here, type is a valid Java type, data type, and variable name is a name of the array. Like in it, a square bracket open and close. This creates a variable name, a that refers to an integer array, but it does not actually create a storage for the array. Second approach to allocate a space for one dimensional array is variable name equal names uh, type size. In there, variable name is name of the array. Uh, type is a valid Java type and size specifies the num uh, number of elements in the array. You can see that the new operator is used to allocate the memory for the array. These two steps combine like uh, type variable array equal to new type size. For example, consider this declaration allocation. You need IA equal to new integer uh, 10 represents the structure of a one dimensional array. Here is an uh, here, IA is an array variable name that can hold 10 integer values, multi dimensional array. In addition to one dimensional, we can create arrays of two or more dimensions. In Java, multi dimensional arrays are implemented as arrays of arrays. You need to perform two steps to work with multi dimensional arrays. One, declare the array, and two, allocate space for its elements. The general form is given below type variable name, new type, size one, size two, float, a, square bracket open, close, square bracket open, close, new float, within square bracket two, two, here is a two dimensional array having two rows and two columns. That is, size is four, we can store four elements in that array. Thank you. Hi, I am a tutor in AppLabs. Today we are going to discuss about Java classes and methods. Java classes and methods, the general Java classes and methods, general forms of a class, constructor and method overloading, the operator, new operator, garbage collection, finalized method, command line arguments, uh, the class, system class. The, the general uh, form of class, a class uh, array concerns three types of items, variables, methods, and constructors. Variable represent a state, method provide the logic that constitutes the behavior of the defined by a class. The variable and methods can be both static and instant uh, variable. 
constructor initializes the state of a new instance of a class. The simpler way to form of a class is class CLS name, instance variable declaration type, variable name one is equal to value one type two, variable name two is equal to value two, uh, constructor CLS name C parameter means one, body of constructor, uh, CLS name uh, C parameter n, body of constructor methods, or type one uh, and M, M to name parameter M parameters one body of method. The keyword class indicates that a class name class name is being declared. This name must follow the Java naming convention for identify the instant variables named variable name one through variable name n included using the normal variable declaration syntax. Each variable must be assigned a type as shown as the type one through uh, type n uh, uh, and maybe initialized to value shown as value 1 through value n. Constructors always have the same name as the class. They do not have written values. Method name, met name 1 to met name n can be included. The written type of the method or type 1 to or type n and their optional parameter lists are m parameter one to m parameter n. Constructors often an object will require some form of initialization when it is created. To accommodate Java suit different constructor for viewer classes. A constructor is a special method that creates and initializes an object of a particular class. It has the same name as its class and may accept arguments. Constructor does not have a written type. Instead, a constructor returns a reference to the object that it creates. Constructor overloading. A class may have several constructors. This feature is called constructor overloading. When constructors are overloaded, each is still called by the name of its class. However, it must have a different parameter list that is signature of each constructor must differ. Method overloading like constructor method can also be overloaded this occurs when two or more methods have the same name but different signature recall that the signature of a method is a combination of its name and the sequence of the parameter types method overloading allows you to use same type name for a group of methods that basically have the same purpose the print line is a good example of this concept it has so many overloaded problems. Each of these accept one argument of a different type. Another advantage of method overloading is that it provides an easy way to handle default parameter values. The new operator objects are created using the new operator. New operator creates an instance of a class. It is invoked as follows class name object reference to a new class name argument. Here, class name is the name of the class to be instantiated. Instantiation means to create an instance. A reference uh, to the new object is assigned to the variable name object reference. Notice the expression immediately to the right of the uh, keyword new. This is known as constructor. A constructor creates an instance of class. It has the same name as the class and may optionally have an argument list arcs. Garbage collection. Garbage collection is the mechanism that retains the memory resources in the object when it is no longer referenced by the a variable. It prevents programming errors that could otherwise occur by incorrectly deleting or failing to delete objects. An object becomes eligible for garbage collection when it is no longer referenced by any variable. However, the JVM determines exactly when this task is performed. Finalize method. Constructor method used to initialize an object when it is declared. This process is known as initialization. Similarly, Java supports a concept called finalization, which is just opposite to initialization. We know that Java runtime is an automatic garbage collecting system. It automatically frees up the memory resources used by the objects. But the objects may hold other non object resources such as file descriptors. 
or mineral system pumps. The garbage collector cannot uh, free these resources. In order to free these resources, we must use a finalization method. This is familiar to the structure of C++. Finalization method is simply finalized and can be added to any class. Java calls the, that method whenever it is applied to reclaim the space for that object. Finalized method should explicitly define the tasks to be performed. Command line arguments. All Java applications contain a static method named main. This method takes one argument that is an array of string objects. These objects represent any arguments that may have been entered by the user on the command line. The number of command line arguments is obtained via the expression args.length. This is an uh, init type. The individual arguments are such as arg0, arg1, arg2, and so forth. The system class. The system class defines several attributes related to the runtime environment. It has a static variable named auto that contains a reference to the print stream object. The print and print line methods of that object display that this as string arguments are the standard output. The static variable ERF also holds a reference to print stream object. This is the standard error stream. The static variable in contains a, a reference to an input stream object. Print stream and input stream are classes that provide support for I.O. Another static method of the system class is exit. It determines the current application. Using classes and methods, instance methods, and variable static keyword inner class, nested class, string class, math class, wrapper class. Instance variables and methods. Each object has its own copy of all the instance variables defined by its class. Thus, an instant variable relates to an instance object of its class. Instant variable may be declared by using the following form type variable name one. Here, the name variable uh, is variable name one and the required type is type. Instant variables are initialized to default values during the creation of an object. An instant method acts upon an object and can be declared as follows uh, R type M method name M parameter body of the method. Here, M, M the name is the name of the method and type is the its return type. Static variables and methods. A static variable is shared by all objects of its class and that relates to the class itself. A static variable may be declared by using the static keyword as a modifier as follows. Well. Static type variable name one. Here, the name of variable iOS variable name one and its type is type. Static variables are initialized to default values from the class loaded into the memory. A static method may be declared by using the static keyword as a modifier. A static method acts relative to a class. It does not act on specific objects of its class. To declare a static method as static or type method name, M parameters, body of the method, here M the name is the name of the method and our type is the each written type an optional list of parameter types uh, shown as m params may be specified string class strings are class instantiated object and implemented using string class string class expressed as string string name equal to new string uh, within double quote string a string class defines a number of methods that allows you to accomplish a variety of string manipulation tasks like compare to method used to sort an array of strings in alphabetical order. Math class. Mathematical functions such as cos, square root, log, etc. are frequently used to analyze analysis of real life problems. Java supports this basic feature. The math class defined in a Java dot lang package. A math function used as far as math function name uh, uh, like double y equal to math square root of x. Wrapper class. There are wrapper classes for each of the eight simple types defined in by Java. These are Boolean character, write, integer, close, long, short, and double. They encapsulate Boolean character, byte, init, 
short, long, short, and double values. The benefit of using wrapper class S is that they provide methods converging to simple types. This is very useful because it gives us a mechanism by which to process user input. Inheritance single and multi double call by value and call by reference method for writing this, this and super keyboard abstract and finite classes. Class inheritance in Java, every class you declare will be derived from another class. You can specify the class to derive from by using the inheritance keyword as follows public class, class car, extends car, numbers, method, and variables. A derived class is commonly referred to as a subclass, wherein the class it is derived from is commonly referred to as superclass. The term intermediate. Uh, immediate superclass is used to describe the class from which a class subclass is directly derived. In figure 3.5, uh, classic, for example, classic car is a subclass of the car ob and object, both uh, car and object. Car and object are both superclass of classic car, but only car is immediate the superclass of classic car. Call by value and call by reference argument passing. All methods are passed by value. This means that copies of arguments are provided to a method. Any changes to these copies, those copies are not visible outside method. In the situation when an array of objects are passed as an argument, in this case, the entire array or object is not actually copied. Instead, only a copy of the reference is provided. Therefore, any changes to the array or object are visible outside the method. However, the reference itself is passed by value. For any member methods, when you create a subclass, you inherit all of the functionality of its superclass, and then you can add or change this functionality as they said. As an example of this, consider the alternate declaration to for class in the following code. Public class car, private in unit year, private float original price. Calculate the sale price of the car based on its cost. Public double calculate sale price, double sale price. If year greater than 1994, sale price is original price, stock 75, 0.75. Else, if year is greater than 1990, sales price is original price, stock 0.5. Else, sale price is original price, stock 0.25. Return sale price a public sector. Public car in a year quoting original price. This year, over here, this original price, original price. Class car is derived from car as follows public class, classic car, exchange car, calculate the sale price of the car based on the discard public double calculate sale price return 10,000. A public constructor, public classic car in it. Year float original price, super year comma original price. Because classic car is distinct from car, it is all the functionality of the car, including its member variables, year and original price. The function calculates sale price appears in both the class declarations. This means that the occurrence of this function is classic car over its occurrence of it in car of or object in terms of classic car. As an example of how it works, consider the following classic car, my classic new classic car, 1920, 1400, double classic uh, price, my classic car, calculate set price, car, my car, new car, 1980, double price, my car, dot calculate set price. The variable my class is of type classic car and is constructed using the, that class constructor. Class modifiers, classes that are created in Java can be modified by any of three class modifiers. The Java class modifiers are public, final, and abstract. If no class modifier is used, then the class may be only be used within the package in which it is declared. A public class is a class that can be accessed from other packages. The class that is declared as final can be derived from, meaning it cannot have subclasses. The, this variable, all Java classes contain a hidden member variable named this. The, this 
number can be used to at runtime to reference the object itself. One excellent use of this is in constructors. It is very common to have a set of instance variables in a class that must be set to values that are passed to a constructor. When you are doing this, it would be nice to have code that was similar to the following. Here is here. Ideally, the variable on the left could be a, the instant variable, and the variable on the right could be the parameter passed to the constructor. Public class car, string manufacturer, uh, string model, uh, init year, init passengers, a public constructor, public car, string made by, string name, init year, init pass, group CST, manufacturer made by, model name, year, year, passengers, class, cost CST. Here we have we had uh, to come up um, in the two names for each concept. The best variable names are manufacturer, model, and uh, so on are used as the instant variables in the class declaration. The less satisfactory names are passed as parameters so as to distinguish them from the instant variables. Assignment statements are then very readable by Java, but seem a little contrived to human readers. That was the keyword. This keyword provides a very effective portion to this problem in that constructor can be written as follows. Public class car, string, manufacturer, string model, unit here, unit parameter, group to us, calculate the sale price of the car based on its cost, public double, calculate sale price, return, cost car 1.5, a public constructor, public car, string manufacturer, string model, unit here, unit passenger, road, cost, this manufacturer is for the manufacturer, this model is for the model. This year equal to year, this passenger is for the passenger, this cost is for the cost. In this case, the variable like this dot year refer to the instant variables, whereas the unqualified variables like year refer to the constructor parameter. The super variable in the preceding declaration for classic car. You may have noticed that constructor made use of a variable named super, just as each object has uh, uh, this variable that references itself. Each object, other than those of the uh, type object itself, has a super variable that represents the parent class. In this case, super year original price looks a constructor of the super class car. Use of uh, super. Super is used to invoke constructor method of the super class, super may be only used within a subclass constructor method. The call to super class constructor must appear as the first statement within the super subclass constructor. The parameter in the super class call, super call uh, must match the order and the type of inheritance variable declared in the subclass. Abstract classes sometimes you may want to declare a class and yet not know how to define all of the methods that belong to the, that class. For example, you may want to declare a class called member and include in it a member method called mark ter territory. However, you don't know how to write mark territory because it is different from each of type member. Of course, you can plan to handle this by deriving subclass of members such as dog and human, but what could do you put in mark territory Function of mammal itself. In Java, you can declare the mark to function of mammal as an abstract method. Do so allows you to declare the method without writing any code for it in that class. However, you can write code for the method in the subclass. If the method is declared abstract, then the class must also be declared as abstract for mammal and its subclasses. This means they would appear as follows abstract class mammal abstract. Wide mark territory, public class uh, human exchange, mammal, public wide mark territory, mark territory by using a yeah, fence. Public class and uh, gang member and exchange mammal, public wide mark territory, mark territory within graffiti, uh, public class dog exchange mammal, public wide mark territory, mark territory by doing what dogs do. With the preceding declaration, the mammal class contains no code for mark territory. The human class could contain code that would mark territory by building a fence around it, while the gang member class could 
voltage so that would mark territory by spray finding gravity in the dog class would mark territory by raising the dog's legs and we want dogs to to mark territory final variables methods and class all methods and variables can be overridden by default in subclasses if you wish to prevent subclasses from overriding the members of the superclass we can declare them as final we can give it final as a modifier for example final elite size 100 final void show status making a method final and choose that the functionality defined in this method will never be altered in any way similarly the value of the final variable can never be uh, change sometimes we may like to prevent a class string being for the subclass for security reasons a class that cannot be subclass is called a final class this is actually in java using the keyword final as for final class a class any attempt to inherit these classes will cause an error and the compiler will not allow it string represent a sequence of a character the easiest way to represent a sequence of character in java is by using character array example char character array new character four you can declare a string using characters but there is a, a limitation that we cannot use functions related with strings using array like copy of an array is difficult or the java provides string class using object for that two classes are use string and string buffer a yeah, java string is an is an instantiated object of string class string string name string name is for use string and string string array string item array use string tree will create a item array of size three to hold three string constant string methods the string method defines a number of methods that allow us to accomplish a variety of string manipulation tasks s2 s1 dot to lower class converts the string s1 to all lower class s2 s1 to two uppercase converts the string s1 to all uppercase s2 s1 to three plus x comma y three plus all uppercase so x with y s2 s1 dot trump removes the white spaces at the beginning and end of the string s1 s1 equals dot equals s2 and, and returns true if s1 is equal to s2 s1 dot equals ignore case s2 Return true if S1 is well known and ignore in the case of characters. S1 dot length gives the length of S1. S1 dot uh, have at n gives n the character of S1. S1 dot compare to S2. Return negative if S1 is less than S2. Positive if S1 is less than S2. And zero if S1 is equal to S2. S1 concatenation S2 concatenates S1 and S2. S1 substring n gives substring starting from nth character s1 dot substring m n comma <coughs> m gives substring starting from nth character of n not including m string value dot of t create a string uh, object of parameter p uh, simple type or object p dot to string creates a string representation object p s1 dot index of x gives the portion of the first occurrence of x in string s1 s1 dot index of x comma n gives the portion of the x that occurs after the nth portion in the string s1 string dot value of variable converts parameter value to string representation string buffer class string buffer is a peer class uh, of string while string creates a string of uh, none string buffer creates string of Flexible none that can be modified in terms of both none and content. We can insert characters and subsets in, in the middle of the string or upon another uh, string to at the end. Uh, S1 dot set char at n comma x modifies the nth character to x. S dot append S2 uh, upon the string S2 to S1 at the end. S dot insert n comma S2. Insert the string S2 at the portion n of the string S1. S1 dot S set length n sets the length of the string S1 to n. If n is less than S1 dot length, uh, S1 is truncated. If n is greater than S1 dot length, zeros are added to S1. Vectors Java does not support the concept variables uh, arguments to a function. This feature can be achieved in Java through the use of vector class. 
contained in Java util dot uh, util package. This class can be used to create a generic dynamic array known as a vector that can hold objects of any type and any uh, number. The objects do not uh, have to be homogeneous. Arrays can be easily implemented as vectors. Vectors are created like arrays as follows. Vectors in vect, init vector, new vector declaring with x size, vector init vector, new vector of three declaring with size, vector poses a number of advantages over arrays. It is convenient to use vectors to store objects. A vector can be used to store a list of objects that may vary in size. We can add and delete objects from the list as it is and when um, required. A major constraint in using vectors is that we can uh, not directly uh, store simple data types in the vector. We can only store objects. Therefore, we need to convert simple types to objects. This can be done using the wrapper classes discussed in the next section. The vector supports a number of methods that can be used manipulate the vectors created. List.addElementItem adds the item specific to the list at the end. List.element at 10 gives the name of the 10th object. List.size gives the number of objects present. List.removeElementItem removes the specified item from the list. List.removeElement uh, at removes the item stored in the end position of this. List.removeAllElement Removes all the elements in the list. List start copy in, into array and copies all items from the list to array. List start insert element at item and comma n inserts the item at the end of the question. Wrapper class uh, classes vector are not, not handled primitive data types like init, long, character, and double. Mm. Primitive data types may be converted uh, object types by using wrapper classes contained in the java lang dot lang dot package. Wrapper class for uh, covering primitive data types are given below. Simple type wrapper class boolean boolean char character double double uh, float float unit integer long long. The wrapper class have number of unique methods for handling primitive data types and objects. Converting primitive numbers to object numbers using constructor methods. Integer init well into integer uh, new integer of i primitive integer to integer of this real i as a primitive data type converting object numbers to primitive numbers using type value method uh, init i init value dot init value uh, object to primitive integer converting numbers to string using to string method uh, str is for integer dot to string uh, i primitive in integer to string. Converting string objects to numeric objects using the static method value of value of init value in school integer value of string converts string to integer object. Converting numeric string to primitive numbers using parsing method init i integer parse init uh, str converts string to primitive integer. Input and output in Java files in Java the path name when dealing with the files, a source of confusion for a beginner in Java programming in the path name. For example, consider the following path name on a Unix Linux machine Java SC, SCJP temp. The, the first forward slash represents the root directory. The path name in the Windows uh, machine may be written as C colon uh, uh, slash Java SCJP temp. Constructor for the file class and uh, file string path name creates a, an instance of the file class by converting the path name string to an abstract path name. File string parent string child creates an instance of the file class by uh, concentrate concatenating to the child string to the parent string and converting the combined string to an abstract path name. File file uh, parent and string child creates an instance of the file class by constructing an abstract path name from the abstract path name of the parent file and the string path name of child. Example file f1 new file java uh, slash scjp file f2 new file java slash scjp temp slash my book dot java f file f3 new file f1 uh, temp uh, slash my book dot java any instance of file class is immutable this means that once you have created a file object by 
providing a path name, the abstract path name represented by this object will never change. When you create an instance of the file class, no real file is created in the file system. Methods of file class, boolean can read, boolean can write, boolean create a new file, boolean delete, boolean exist, string get absolute path, string get canonical path, string get name, string get parent, boolean is absolute, boolean is direct, boolean is file, string list, string list file, boolean make directors, make directories. Understanding streams, Java, uh, data stream, sources, um, data stream, destination. Uh, whether the source or destination is a file or a socket, any read or write is performed in three simple steps. Open the stream and until there is more data, keep reading in, the, in a read or write, in a, writing in a write, close the stream. A low level stream, a low level input stream, reads data and returns it in bytes, and a low level output stream accepts data as bytes and writes the output in bytes. Two examples of low level streams are represented by the class head input stream and file output stream, which are subclasses of input stream and output stream, respectively, file input stream class. The file input stream class is the same for reading image files as it reads the stream of our bytes. Consider file input stream file name. File, uh, file file, file input stream, string name. Methods of file input stream in init, read, and close uh, IO exception returns the next byte of data or minus one if the end of the file is reached. Init, read, byte, uh, byte, throw IO ex exception, uh, read bytes, dot length, number of bytes from the stream into an array and returns the number of bytes read or minus one if the end of the file is reached. Init, Read byte byte, comma uh, in unit offset, unit length, throws IO exception read up to a total of length bytes, starting from offset into an array and return the number of bytes the read or minus one if the end of the file is reached. White close, uh, closes the input stream and releases any system resources assigned to the uh, stream. File of pushing class, the file of pushing class is meant for writing streams of garbage into files such as image files, constructor, file of pushing file file, file of pushing string name, method of file of uh, pushing, uh, white write init p, throws IO exception write in the uh, positive byte to the stream, white write byte byte, throw IO exception write byte byte dot length, number of bytes from a positive array to the stream write. Void write byte byte it's the unit offset unit length so cyber exception raise up to a total of length byte starting from offset from the past in array to stream void close uh, closes the output stream and uh, releases any system resources assigned to the stream example code input import java io dot io dot sharp public class uh, file byte copier public static void main String args close IO exception file input uh, file new file uh, sg scjp dot text file output file new file scjp copy dot text file output uh, input stream in new file uh, input stream input file file output stream out new uh, file output stream output file in it to c while c is equal to entry uh, not equal to minus one out dot write c in dot close out dot close bracket braces close braces close the i level streams when the unit of information you are interested in is a i level data type such as float and in it are a string and you don't want to deal with bytes directly you can work with the i level streams two examples of i level data uh, streams are data input stream and data output stream uh, bytes, files, bytes, uh, file input stream, bytes, data input stream, Java program, init, code, double, boolean, Java output stream, bytes, file uh, output stream, bytes, file. Data input stream class constructor for data input stream classes, public data input stream, input stream in methods of data input stream class, boolean, read, boolean, throws, I will exception. Byte read bytes throw cyber exception character read character throw cyber exception double read double throw cyber exception float read float throw cyber exception unit read unit throw
close eye wave and long read long close eye wave and short read short close eye wave expression. The data output stream class is constructed for the awaited output class is public data output stream and push stream out method of data output stream class wide rate boolean boolean b close eye wave expression uh, wide rate byte byte b close eye wave expression wide rate bytes String S, close I wave from wide right car in it C, close I wave from wide right cars in string S, close I wave from wide right double double D, close I wave from wide right float F, close I wave from wide right in it, in it A, close I wave from wide right wrong long L, close I wave from wide right short short S, close I wave exception. Thank you. Hi, I am a tutor in App Plus. Today we are going to discuss about Java classes and methods part two and applets. Readers and writers to read data in text format. Java offers so-called reader and writer streams. Note that some authors do not refer to readers and writers as streams. All the classes corresponding to reader and writer streams are subclasses of the reader and writer classes and are used to read as character streams. Low level readers and writers, the low level readers streams and the data, read data and return uh, it in characters and low level output stream accepts data as characters and write the output in characters. Two examples are low level reader and writer streams are file reader and write reader. The file uh, reader class constructed uh, for the file reader class file reader file 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 reader string name method of the file reader class in it read close I/O exception returns the next character of data or minus one if the end of the file is reads in it read char the C puff close I/O expression reads character from the input uh, stream into the char array c buff and returns the number of characters read or minus one if the end of the file is reached init read char c buff init offset init length cross cyber exception reads up to a total of length characters starting from an offset into the array buff c buff and returns the number of characters read or minus one if the end of file is reached white close closes input stream and releases any stream System resources assigned to the stream. File writer class constructed for file writer class, file writer, file name, file file, file writer, string name, method of the file writer class, avoid write init C, for IO exception writes the post in single characters to the stream, void write char ch throws IO exception writes character dot length number of characters from the Post in array to the stream, wide write string str throws IO exception writes the post in string to the stream, wide write char c buff init offset init length throws IO exception writes up to a total of length characters starting from offset from the post in array to the stream, wide write strings str and comma init offset init length. And throw cyber exception raise up to a total of length characters starting from offset from post in stream to the stream. Wide flush throw cyber exception flushes the stream, which means the remaining buffered data that I've read, uh, returned to the stream is sent out of the file before closing. Wide closing, wide close closes the output stream and releases any system resources assigned to the stream. Example code import import Java star public class file byte copier public static void main string arguments throw cyber exception file input file new file is sc jp dot text file output for new file is sc jp copy dot text <coughs> file reader in new file reader input file file reader out new file writer output file 
increment c while c equal to in read uh, not equal to minus one out dot write c in close out plus out close plus is close plus is close high level readers and writers as you know you can use data input stream and data output stream to read and write the primitive type in binary format similarly you can read and write characters in character strings in big chunks buffers and in text format by using buffer reader and buffer writer classes respectively buffer re buffered reader and buffer writer classes Transistor buffer reader read reader name buffer reader reader name reader size buffer writer write writer route and buffer writer write around in its size. Example code import java io dot io dot star public class uh, file buffer appear public static void main strings are through io exception file input file new uh, file scjp dot text file output file new file scjp copy dot text and buffer buffered reading new buffered reader new file reader input file buffered write out new buffered writer new file writer of, of uh, File string line while line equal to in uh, read line not equal to null out right line out uh, new line in close in out and this is close. The printer writer uh, print writer class the print writer class is a subclass of the writer class constructor for the print writer class print writer write out uh, writer out, out uh, to come out to the most commonly used methods of the print writer class are public void print and public void print line. Exceptions during IO operations, stream class constructors, read write methods, file input stream, file output stream, file not found exception, IO exception, data input stream, data output stream, none, IO exception, file reader, file writer, file not found exception, file not found exception, buffered uh, reader, buffered writer, none, IO exception, print writer, file not uh, found exception, none. Object stream and serialization. Java offers high level streams, object uh, input stream and object output stream, which when chained to low level streams such as file input stream and file output stream can be used by programs to read and write objects. The process of writing an object to somewhere is called object serialization and the process of reading a serialized object back into the program is called deserialization. The goal here is to save the state of an object. To make the objects of a class serializable, the class must implement the interface serializable. Class main serial class implements serializable. Body of the class, the serializable interface is an empty interface that is no methods are declared in it and is used to just tag as a class for possible serialization. Writing with output, uh, object output stream to uh, write an object to a file. You use object output stream to write to a, it to a, the role level stream, which in turn will write it to the file. For example, consider the following code fragment file output stream out, new file output stream object store dot ser, object output stream OS, new output, object output stream out, OS dot write object, serial out, OS dot write object, new serial. My new my serial class OS dot write object a dot storage uh, OS dot flush. Following the saved in serialization, the values of the instant variables of the serialized object, the class description of the object, which includes the class name, the serial version of a unique ID, a set of class described in the serialization method, and a description of the data fields. All the objects that uh, serialized objects refer to through uh, object reference variable. That means those objects must be serializable, otherwise you will get a compile error. Reading with object input stream, the objects can be read uh, back in the same order in which they are uh, stored. Here is a code format that reads in, uh, in the string and the date objects that were written to the file named object store.sher in previous example uh, file input stream in a uh, new input uh, file input stream object uh, store.shell object input stream is new object input stream in 
string node, a string is read object. My serial class serial line one. Um, my class serial is the read object. My uh, serial class serial line two. My class serial is read object. Note the following point about serialization. If a class is serializable, then all the subclasses of this superclass are implicitly serializable, even if they don't explicitly implement the serialable interface. interface. If you want to serialize an array or some other collection, each of each elements must be serializable. Static variables are not saved as part of a serialization. Recall that the purpose of serialization is to save the object of an, instead of an object. When a static variable belongs to a class and not to an object of the class. Multi-threading. Multi-threading is specialized form of multitasking, like Windows and other OS uses multitasking technique, that is, they handle more than one process at a time. The same thing you can do in Java using multi-threading technique. A thread is similar to a program that has a single flow of control. It has a beginning, a body, and an end, and executes commands sequentially. Java enables us to use multiple flows of control in developing programs. Each flow of control is represented by a thread and that runs parallel to others. There is a program that contains multiple flows of control is known as multi-threaded program. Threads in Java are subprograms of a main application program and share the same memory space known as lightweight threads or lightweight process. Threads running in parallel does not mean that they actually run at the same time. Since all the threads are running on the same process, the flow of execution is shared between the threads. The Java interpreter handles the switching of control between the threads in such a way that it appears they are running concurrently, creating threads. Uh, threads are implemented in the form of objects that contain a method called run. The run method is the order and flow of the any thread. Public void run uh, statements for implementing threads, the run method uh, should be invoked by an object of concerned thread. This can be achieved by creating the thread and initiating it with the help of another thread method called start. A new thread can be created in two ways by creating a thread class, the different class that extends the thread class and overrides its run method with the code required by the thread. By converting a class to thread, defining a class that implements runnable interface. Runnable interface has only one method run. That is to be defined in the method with the code to be executed by the thread. Extending the thread class, we can make our uh, class as runnable as a thread by extending the class uh, java.lang.thread. This gives us access to all the thread methods directly. Steps declare a class ex as extending the thread class, implement the run method that is responsible for executing the sequence of code that. The thread will execute. Create a thread object and call the start method to initiate the thread execution. Stopping and blocking a thread. Stopping a thread. Whenever we want to stop a thread from running further, we may do so by calling its stop method like a, a thread dot stop. This statement causes the thread to move to the dead state. A thread will also move to the dead state automatically when it reaches the end of its method. Blocking a thread. A thread can also be temporarily suspended or blocked uh, from entering into the runnable and subsequently running state by using either of the following uh, thread methods. Sleep. Blocked for the specific time. Suspend. Blocked until further orders. Wait. Blocked until setting condition address. These methods cause the thread to go into the blocked or non-runnable state. The thread will uh, run to, uh, return to the uh, Runnable state when the specific time is elapsed. In the case of sleep, the resume method is invoked in the case of suspend, or the notify method is called in the case of write. Life cycle of a thread. During the lifetime of a thread, where there are many states, it can enter the include newborn state, uh, run well state, running state, locked state, dead state. Life cycle of a thread, new point, start, running, runnable, active thread, suspense, uh, sleep, wait, uh, resume, notify, block, uh, idle thread, not runnable, 
um, stop um, point stop or um, active threat stop or block stop the two should dead kill the threat you want to see when we create a threat object the threat is in born and is set to be in new born state <laughs> the thread is not yet scheduled for running at this state you can do only one the following things with that scheduled it for running using start kill it using a stop if scheduled it move to runnable state if attempts to use any other method at this state an exception will be thrown Runnable state. Runnable state means the threat are ready to for execution and is waiting for the availability of the processor. That is, the threat has joined the queue of threats that are waiting for execution. If all the threats have equal priority, they then they are given in a time slots for execution in the round robin fashion. That is, first come first server manner. The threat the, that running is just control joins the queue at the end again waits for its run. This first assigning time to threats is known as time slicing. However, if you want a threat to relinquish control to another threat of equal credit before it, its turn comes, you can do so by using the yield method. Running state. Running means uh, that the processor has given its time to the threat for its execution. The threat runs until it relinquishes control on its own or it is preempted by a priority threat. A running threat may relinquish its control in one of the following situations. It has been suspended using suspend method. Suspend can be revived uh, by using resume method. It has made to sleep. We can put a threat to sleep for a specific time period using the method sleep time, where a time is in milliseconds. This means that the threat is out of queue during this time period. It has been uh, uh, told to wait until some event occurs. This is done by using wait method. The threat can be scheduled to run again using the notify method. Block to state. A threat is said to be blocked when it is prevented from entering into a runnable state and subsequently the running state. This happens when the threat is suspended, sleeping or waiting in order to satisfy certain requirements. A block to threat is considered not runnable but not dead and therefore could be qualified to run again. Dead state. Every thread has a life cycle. The running thread ends its life when it has completed executing its run method. It is natural death. However, you can kill it by sending the stop message to it at any stage, thus causing a premature death to it. Thread priority in Java, each thread is assigned a priority which affects the order in which it is scheduled for running. The thread that we have discussed so far are of same priority, the threats of the same priority are given equal treatment by Java scheduler and therefore they shall the processor on the first come first serve basis. Java permits us to set priority of the thread using set priority method as for a thread name dot set priority init number. The init number is an integer value to which the thread priority is set. The thread thus defines uh, several priority constants, minimum priority equal to one. Normal priority is well, maximum priority is equal to 10. Init number may assume one of the, these constants are any value between 1 and 10, and the default setting is norm priority. By assigning priorities to thread, we can ensure that they are given the attention they deserve. For example, we may need to answer an input as quickly as possible whenever multiple threads are ready for execution. The Java system chooses the highest priority thread and executes it. For a thread of lower priority to gain control, one of the following things should happen. It stops the running of the run. It is made to sleep using sleep. It is told to wait using wait. However, if another thread of high priority comes along, the currently running thread will be preempted by incoming thread and thus forcing the current thread to move to the runnable state. Remember that the high priority thread always preempts any lower priority threads. Synchronization. When multiple threads access shared data, then sometimes data corruption occurs in multiple programs is not designed correctly that these two system failure. Unfortunately, such problems can occur at unpredictable times and be very difficult to reproduce. An example, consider a bank account that is shared by multiple customers. Each of these customers can make deposits to or withdrawals from this account. 
and that application might have a separate thread to, to process the actions of each other user. A time t in t not to t six thread a read balance pointer switch read balance uh, thread b uh, add ten dollars balance uh, thread one pointer switch add and ten to balance. So you have uh, zero uh, t not uh, zero zero dollars zero dollars zero dollars ten dollars ten dollars ten dollars. Figure one depicts one possible shifting of this thread at time t not. The account balance is zero. The thread is executing and wants to deposit dollar ten to account. The current value of the account is read at t one. Now we counter switch from thread a to thread b occurs, and then occurs at time t two. The thread b then reads the value of the account at time t three. It increments this value by ten at time t four. Another counter switch occurs at time t five. This is just control to thread a at ten since it checks account balance to ten. The net effect of this sequence is that the final account balance is only 10, it should be 20. Data corruption as a result of the solution to this problem is to synchronize the access to this common data. This can be done in two common ways. First, a method can be synchronized by using synchronized keyboard as a modifier in the method declaration. When a thread begins executing a synchronized instance method, it automatically requires a lock on that object. The lock is automatically removed. When the method completes, um, only one method may have this lock at any time. Therefore, only one method may execute any uh, any of the synchronous instance method for that same object. The JVM automatically causes the second thread to wait until the first thread transition is locked. Another way to synchronize access to common data is via synchronous statement block syntax, synchronous object, statement block, year object is object uh, to be blocked. If you wish to protect the instance data, you should lock against the, that object. If you wish to protect against the class data, you should lock the appropriate class object. One object, important benefit of Java class libraries is that they are designed to be threat trip. In other words, multiple threats may access that methods. Deadlock. Deadlock is an error that can be encoded in multi thread program. It occurs when two or more thread wait indefinitely for each other to do in case stops. Assume that uh, thread I holds one holds a lock of, uh, on object one and waits for a lock on object two. Thread two holds a lock for object two and waits for lock for object one. Neither of these method may proceed. Each waits for ever for, for the other to have the lock in each. Thread communication in that lock you have seen that how thread acquires a lock and does not initiate it. In the threat communication, threats can communicate with each other. Threat can temporarily release a lock, so other threats can have an opportunity to execute a synchronous method or statement block. That uh, lock can be acquired again at a later time. A class objects define three methods that allow threats to communicate with each other. The wait method allows the threat that is executing a synchronous method or statement block on that object to release the lock and wait for a notification from another thread. It has three forms. The uh, void wait uh, throws interrupted exception, void wait long millisecond, throws interrupted exception, void wait long millisecond, comma init in a second, throws interrupted exception. The first form causes the current thread to, to wait indefinitely. Second form causes the thread to wait for a millisecond. M second millisecond, the last uh, form causes the current thread to wait for millisecond plus nanoseconds. Notify method allows a thread that is executing a synchronous method or statement block to notify another thread that is waiting for a lock on this object. If several threads are waiting, only one of these is selected. The selection criteria are determined by the implement of JVM. The signature is void notify. It is important to understand that when a thread executes a notify or notify all method, it does not relinquish its lock at that moment. This occurs only when it leaves the synchronization method or statement block. Applet. An applet is a program that can be referenced uh, uh, by the HTML source code of a page. It is dynamically loaded from a web server to a browser. The applet then executes within the environment provided by the browser. Alternately, you may use a tool such as the applet viewer to run it. It is important to recognize downloading the code 
from the internet and executing it on your computer is inherently dangerous. Therefore, Applet do not have the same capabilities as Java applications. They are, res they are restricted to operating within the confines of a sandbox. In other words, the code that is untrusted is not allowed to operate outside certain boundaries. For example, applets are normally not allowed to read or write to your local desk. This would obviously be risky because they could accidentally and maliciously destroy any data stored on the that device. Applet cannot execute any native code. An applet may open a socket connection back to the host from which it, it was downloaded, but not to any other host. The reason for this restriction can be understood if you imagine a configuration in which a firewall protects corporate internet from computer access. Assume that the, an employee has downloaded an applet from the internet to, uh, and PC or host station. If that applet is allowed to open sockets to any machine, it would uh, then have the potential to steal proprietary information and send back to the actor's mission. This must be prevented. Therefore, an applet is not allowed to contact any of these those private missions. Difference between applet and application. Applets are not full featured application performed. They are usually written to accomplish a small task or a, a component of a task. Since they are usually designed for use on the internet, they impose certain limitations and restrictions in their design. Applets do not use main method for initiating the execution of the code. Applets, when loaded, automatically call certain methods of applet calls to start and execute the applet code. And the standalone application applet cannot be and independently they are run from inside a web page using a special feature known as HTML tag. Applets cannot read read uh, from or uh, write uh, to the files in the local computer. Applets cannot run any program in the local, uh, the local computer. Write applet program, building an applet code dot Java file, creating an executable applet dot Java class file, designing a web page using HTML tags, preparing applet tag, incorporating applet tag into the web page, creating HTML file, testing the applet code. Reading applet code. It is essential that our applet code should use the services of two classes, namely applet and graphics. From the Java class library, the applet class, which is contained in the Java applet applet package, provides uh, life and behavior to the applet through its methods, such as init, start, and paint. Unlike with the applications, uh, when Java calls main method directed to initiate the execution of the program, when an applet is loaded, Java automatically calls a series of applet class methods for starting, running, stopping the applet code. The applet class therefore maintains the lifestyle of an applet. The paint method of the applet class, when it is called, actually displays the method of the applet code on the screen. The output may be text, graphic, or sound. The paint method, which requires a graphics object as an argument, is defined as follows public void paint graph. This requires that the applet code imports java.awt package that contains the graphics class. All output operations of an applet are performed using the method defined in the graphic class. Input java.awt.stop, import uh, java.applet, public cl applet class name extends applet, public white paint graphic g, g dot draw string allow java 10, 12. Here, applet class itself uh, a subclass of panel class, uh, which is again subclass of internet class, and so on, given below. Java language dot op, object, Java AWT component, Java AWT container, Java AWT panel, Java a, applet dot applet. Chain up class in every applet class, applet as life cycle. Every Java applet generates a set of default behavior from applet class. The applet state include born or initialization state, ideal state, running state, dead or dead or destroyed state. Begin applet born, initialization, load, load applet, uh, start uh, display, running, paint, um, stop, go to idle top, stop, uh, stop, destroy, dead, uh, initialization state, applet and initialization state when it is first loaded. This is achieved by calling the init method of applet class. The applet is born. We require the following at this stage. Create objects moving to the applet. 
set up initial values, load the images of font, set up colors. The initialization occurs only once in the Apple's life cycle. We provide a many of the keyword. We must override the init method, public void init, um, uh, running state. Uh, Apple enters uh, in the running state when the system calls the start method of the Apple class. This occurs automatically after the after uh, Apple is initialized. Sorting can um, occur also occur if the Apple is already stopped idle state. For example. We may leave the app, uh, web page containing the applet completely to another page and return back to the page. This again uh, applet, uh, starts applet running. Note that unlike init method, start method may also may be called call more than once. We may override the start method to create a thread to control the thread to control the applet. Idle or stop the state and applet becomes idle when it is stopped from the running. Stopping occurs automatically when we leave the page containing uh, current, currently pending applet. We can also do so by calling the stop method explicitly. If you use a thread to run the applet, then we must stop, use stop method to terminate the thread. We can achieve by overriding the stop method. Dead state, an applet is said to be dead when it is removed from the memory. This occurs automatically by invoking destroy method when we quit the browser, like initialization, the sign state occurs only once in the applet's life cycle. Display state. Uh, applet moves to a display state whenever it has to perform some output operation on the screen. This happens immediately after applet enters into the running state. The paint method is called to accomplish this task. Graphic class. A graphic object in capture is a setup method that can perform graphic output. Specifically, it allows to draw lines, ovals, rectangles, strings, images, characters, and arcs. And some of the commonly used methods of the graphics or classes are summarized below. Method, description, wide uh, draw arc, init text, init y, init w, draw an arc between uh, degrees 0 and 1. And, uh, the center of the arc is the center of the rectangle with upper left corner, the coordinates, x and y, with width w, and height h. Meet H, degree 0, degree 1. 0 degrees is uh, question 3 p.m. of the word, and the angle increases in the counterclockwise direction. Void, draw image, image, uh, IMG, comma, uh, uh, init uh, X, init Y, image observer, I go, draw the image, uh, so its upper left corner is at XY, up, um, updates about the progress of the set, PR set 2, I go. Y draw line in it x naught, in it y naught, in it x one, in it y one. Draw a line between the points x naught, y naught, x one, y one. Y draw over the x in it x, in it y, in it w, in it h, draw an over. Y draw polygon, in it x, in it y, in it n, draw a polygon with n corners. Y draw rectangle, in it x, in it y, in it w, in it h, draw a rectangle. Y draw string, string, str, in it x, in it y, draw. String at location x and y. Y uh, fill arc in it text in it y in it w in it h in it degree zero in it degree one fill an arc between degree zero and one. Fill oval in it text in it y in it w in it h fill the fills and oval in it wide fill polygon in it text in it y in it n fill the polygons with n corners. Wide fill rectangle in it text in it y in it w in it h and y with W uh, I touch. Um, fills a rectangle with upper left corner of the coordinates X and Y with W and a I touch color, get color, get the color of the current object, font, get font, get the font of the current object, the font matrix, get font matrix, get the font matrix of the current object, use colors, uh, colon the Java AWT dot color class is used to work with colors. Each instance of this class represents a particular color. This class has the following three constructors. Color in it, red, in it, green, in it, blue, color in it, RGB, color, uh, float R, float G, float B. Here, red, green, and blue are the unit values that range from 0 to 250. Display text. Normally, draw uh, string method is used to draw strings on the screen while giving additional capabilities for controlling the appearance and placement of a string in an applet. A font determines the size and appearance of characters in a string 
that resides in Java AWT dark font. The following is one uh, person font string name init state init ps. Here the name identifies the font like area. The style may be bold, italic, or plain, and the point size up to points uh, yes, is ps. To create a point set point method of the graph class, void set point font font. Here point is a font object. After this method is called any strings that are output via the draw string method are displayed with that font. The Java AWT that font matrix in class allows you to set get several metrics about the size of a point. In addition, you may also determine the size of a string that displayed in that font. These quantities are provided in Pixel. The specific metrics that are available uh, uh, are assigned, design, leading, uh, and eight characters section above and below that line. The number of pixels above and uh, the baseline is the same number of pixels uh, below the descent uh, of one line and the ascent of the next line is the leading. The sum of descent, ascent, and leading is right. The constructor uh, for this class is font matrix font font. Here, the font indicates the font for which matrix are wanted. Some uh, commonly methods are given below all, all return the values are in pixels. Input character, init character, character C returns the input C. Init character with init I returns the width, uh, width if one character is first six in bit of I. Init get ascent uh, returns the ascent. Init get descent returns the descent. Init get height returns the height. Init get leading uh, returns the leading. Init string with uh, string str returns width of str. Using applet dimension, using dimension, the data uh, can be used to capture the arguments that uh, should be passed to the uh, drawing methods of graphic class. For example, you can display a circle at the center of an applet. If the applet three size, the circle remains at the center. The get size method is used to determine the size of an applet. Dimension get size, uh, a dimension object encapsulate the height and width. The following are some constructor dimensions are dimension of D, dimension unit W, unit H. Here D is the dimension object. The argument W and H represent the width and height in pixels. The class has two instances, variable widths and height in pixels of type in it. The applet section, the Java dot applet, applet uh, class uh, state and behavior are inherited from Java dot AWT dot compound dot Java dot AWT dot container and java.awt.panel. The abstract component class represents many of the different types of elements you can include in the GUI like buttons, choices, lists, and scroll box. Because applet is also a, um, a component, you can receive and process events from it by using the same techniques that apply to other user interface element. The abstract container class is a component that may contain other components, a concrete subclass of components is panel. The applet uh, class extends panel. It defines the init, stop, stop, and destroy methods are used to manage uh, the applet lifecycle. Why destroy? Destroys applets. Um, applet context, get uh, applet context, returns the applet context. URL get code base, returns the code base. URL dot uh, get document base, returns the document base. Image, image get image URL URL. Returns an image uh, object for an image at URL. Image you get image URL URL comma string image name may return an image object for image at URL. String get parameter string string str returns the value of parameter name. Uh, void in it initializes this applet. Void show status uh, string str displays str on the status line. Void start starts this object. Void stop stop this object. The applet context class, the Java dot applet uh, applet context interface defines methods that allow an applet to interact with a context for environment in which it is executing. This context provided by either a tool such as the applet viewer or a, a browser. Applet get applet returns the applet named app name string app name. Enumeration get applet returns an enumeration of the applets in in the context, uh, current context, image, get image, URL, URL, in bracket, returns an image object for the image um, at the URL. Using images, the get images method of the applet class returns java.awt.image object. 
image get image uh, your uh, get image get image your base string file name the first two uh, form accepts uh, one argument that that is an, an absolute URL to identify the image in the resource. The second part of two arguments, its first argument is URL to identify the base location from where the image file can be downloaded. And its second argument is the name of the specific file. The draw image method of the graphic class contains the downloading of an app image and displays some set of image data as it is downloaded to the uh, user's machine. Thank you. Hi, I'm a tutor in AppLabs. Today we are going to discuss about Java event handling. Event handling and event is an object that describes some state change in source. The events generated when a person interacts with an element in a graphical user interface, like pressing a button, clicking the mouse, double click on a list box entry, or closing a window. A source generates events. It has three main responsibilities. First, it must provide methods that allow listeners to register and unregister for a notification about a specific type of event. Second, it must generate the event. Finally, it must send, send the event to all registered listeners. The event may be unique to a single user listener or multicast to several listeners. It is possible for a source to generate several types of events. In that case, multiple registration and registration methods would be provided. The methods implemented by a source that allow listeners to register and unregister for events are as follows. Public void add type listener type listener EL, public void add type listener type listener EL throws too many listeners exception, public void remove type listener type listener EL. The uh, uh, here, uh, type is the type of uh, event, and here is the event listener. The first two form allows uh, several listeners to register for the same type of event. The second form is provided if only one listener may register to receive that type of event. The last form allows a listener to unregister for notification about a specific type of event. A listener receives event notifications. It has three main responsibilities. First, it must register to receive notification about specific events. It does so by calling the appropriate registration method of the source. Second, it must implement an interface to receive event of that type. Finally, it might unregister it if it no longer wants to receive those notifications. It does so by calling the appropriate unregistration method of the source. It does so by calling the appropriate administration method of the source. The delegation event model is given below. Source event, listener, listener, listener. Here a small source multicast uh, an event into a set of listeners. The listeners implement the interface to receive notification about that type of event. Let us consider how the delegation event model applies to a button in a graphical user interface. This component generates an event when it is pressed, an object of class Java AWT dot action event is created to encapsulate information about the event. The Java AWT button class provides the following methods uh, as the SP listeners uh, may uh, register and unregister to receive the action events. Avoid uh, add action event listener, action listener AL, void remove action listener, action listener AL. Here, AL is a reference to listener object. The finally, the Java AWT event account listener interface must be implemented by a listener. This defines one method to receive action event as far as void action perform action event AE. Uh, yeah, here, AE is a reference to the action event. Event classes, a set of classes are provided to present, represent the various types of AWT event given below. The event object class. Actions object and is part of Java util package. It's constructed as its form. This form, yeah, event object, object is a source. Here, yeah, the source is the object that generates the event. This class has two methods uh, shown here object get source uh, string to uh, string. Get source method returns the object that generated the event, and the, the two string method returns the string equivalent to the event. 
the abstract readability even plus extends even plus object and is part of Java readability package. All of the readability event type are subclass readability event. Object event, object readability event, action event, uh, adjustment event, component event, text event, item event, um, among uh, component event, container event, the focus event, input event, window event, input event, key event, and mouse event. One of his constructs has uh, this form, AWT event, object uh, source init ID. Here, source is the object that generates the event and ID, identifies the uh, type of event. Two of his methods are shown here. Init get ID returns the type of event, string to string returns the string equivalent of the event, the component event plus extends AWT event. It defines uh, init constants that are used to identify Four types of component events component hidden, uh, underscore hidden, component was hidden, component underscore mood, component mood, component underscore research, component was research, component was shown, component become, became visible. Uh, event description action event, the button is pressed, the list of item is double click, the menu item is selected. Adjustment event, the scroll bar is manipulated. Component event, a component is then moved, recessed, and become visible. Container event, a component is added or removed from the con container. Focus event, a component gains or loses the keyboard focus. Input event, a mouse or key uh, event occurs. Item event, a checkbox or item event is clicked. A choice uh, se selection is made or a checkable menu. Item is selected or deselected. Key event, input is retrieved. <laughs> From the keyboard, mouse even, mouse is dragged or moved, click, press, place, or a checkable menu item is selected or deselected. Text even, the value of a text area or text field is changed. Window even, a window is activated, closed, deactivated. The uh, iconified, iconified, opened or quit. The mouse motion listener interface defines two methods to receive mouse events as follows. Why mouse dragged mouse even me? Why Mouse, mouse, mood, mood, mouse event me. Here, uh, me is the mouse event object generated by the sources. Component generate mouse event. The appropriate method of all registered listeners is invoked and the event is passed as an argument to that method. The mouse click method is called the when the mouse is clicked, the mouse uh, entered, and mouse registered methods are called when the mouse enters or exits the applet. Mouse press and mouse list methods are called when mouse is pressed or list. Import Java dot applet dot start. Import Java dot awt dot start. Import Java dot awt dot event dot start. Public class mouse events extends Apple um, implements mouse listener. Um, public void init add mo uh, mouse listener. This public void mouse click mode uh, event me. Uh, set background color blue dot blue repaint public wide mouse entered mouse event me set background color, color green repaint public wide uh, mouse exit ex ex exited mouse event me uh, set background color red uh, repaint public wide mouse rest mouse event me uh, set background color white repaint public wide mouse list mouse event me uh, set background color yellow repaint Adapter class here you can you see that most uh, listener interface is having five methods and in a program these five methods should be declared by a component and it is inconvenient sometimes. Adapter classes uh, make it easy to deal with this situation and adapter class provides empty implementation of all methods in a particular listener's interface. It can be useful if you want to override only some of the methods defined by that interface, the adapter classes, the Java AWT event package, and the listener interfaces that are implemented by AVH. Here is the given uh, below example an instance of my mouse adapter is created and registered to receive my mouse events. A my mouse adapter class extends mouse adapter and over is mouse uh, pressed and mouse of this method. Import java.apple.star. Import Java dot AWT star, import Java dot AWT dot even star, star, public class mouse adapter demo extends applet.
public wide need uh, set background uh, color green add mouse list and new my uh, mouse adapt with this uh, class my uh, mouse adapter extent uh, mouse adapter mouse adapter demo mad uh, public uh, my uh, my mouse adapter uh, mouse adapter demo mad this mad is will mad public wide mouse trust uh, mouse even me, mad set background, color uh, thread, mad uh, repaint, public wide mouse release, uh, mouse even me, mad dot set background, color green, mad uh, uh, repaint, uh, adapter class, component adapter, listener interface, component listener, container adapter, container listener, focuser, focuser listener, key adapter, key listener, mouse adapter, mouse listener, mouse motion adapter, mouse motion listener. Windows adapter, Windows listener. Inner class says an inner class is defined within the scope of an expression or another class. Therefore, it has to access to the variables and methods in that scope. The init method um, of the Apple initiate the adapter class and register that object to receive most listener events the public class. Most inner demo extends Apple public void init. Add mouse listener, a new my mouse adapter, class my mouse adapter, extend my mouse adapter, public wide mouse, press mouse, uh, even me. The ex example here, my mouse adapter, class extend my uh, mouse adapter, demo and overrides mouse press and mouse release methods. Import java.applet.start, import java.awt.start, import java.awt.event.start, public class mouse. Inner demo actions are plus public white in it, set background color green, and mouse uh, add mouse listener, uh, new my mouse adapter, class my uh, mouse adapter, extend my adapter, public white mouse plus mouse event, B set background color dot red, repaint, public white mouse uh, release mouse event, B set background color dot green, repaint, anonymous inner class, an anonymous inner class is an inner class that does not have. The name, the init method of the applet, instantiate an adapter class and registers that. Object to receive mouse in the listener events, the anonymous in the class extends mouse adapter and provides an implementation of the mouse plus method. Public class mouse anonymous demo extends applet, public wide init, add mouse listener, a new mouse list adapter, public wise, um, wide mouse plus mouse event me. Uh, example import uh, java applet dot applet dot start import java dot applet java dot awt dot start import java dot awt dot even dot start public class mouse anonymous demo extends applet public white in it set background color dot green add mouse uh, listener and a new, a new mouse adapter public white mouse plus mouse event set background color color red repaint Public wide mouse release, mouse event B, set background color green. AWT, the container class extends a component container uh, as a component that can hold reference to a number of other components. It allows the GA that nest containers within containers. Each container has an associate layout manager object uh, that determines where to position its components. Uh, Java.awt.package include Several types of layout manager. The abstract container class provides only a default constructor. The add method decides in the container class used to add the components. Button, canvas, check, um, object, component, button, canvas, checkbox, container, label, list, scroll bar, choice, text, container, uh, panel, and window, applet, uh, dialog, frame, tell, uh, text, text area, text screen. Able to classes that inherit uh, Java land dot object, Java land dot object, uh, color dimension, even font, uh, font matrix, graphics, image, image search, media tracker, point, polygon, rectangle, toolkit, checkbox, group. All the classes that control the placement of objects on the screen inherit Java land dot object, uh, border layout, card layout, row layout, grid back constraint, uh, grid back layout, grid layout. Applet class inheres from Java AWT panel dot panel, so you can draw directly to um, applet Java lang object uh, component menu component component canvas button checkbox choice container 
list label is called what text component, text component, text data, text field. Then they add a panel window, uh, panel uh, Java applet uh, window, dialog or frame, and uh, file dialog. Menu component, menu bar, menu item, menu item, menu, and checkbox menu item. Variability classes just generated from object. In addition, all the interactive elements except menus generate from component. The only other uh, very important thing to note is that because applet generates from panel, which generates from container, applets can directly contain other objects such as buttons, canvases, and so on. This section discusses how you can build hierarchies of containers in applets. <coughs> Graphics class. Graphics class is part of AWT. It is contained in Java AWT graphics, and it's a basic class for everything. You draw on screen applets are associated with the graphics instances as to various components such as buttons, drawing methods such as draw line, work on a graphics instance. So you will see many calls in the form of in the typical applet, public void find graphic G, the G dot. Draw line, then comma, then comma, twenty comma, twenty comma. Graphics class uses a standard computer coordinate system with, uh, with the origin in the upper left corner. All coordinate measurements in Java are done in pixels. The size of items decode in absolute units such as inches and millimeters differ on various machines due to differing pixels in values. You will find that whenever you program uh, as to draw something, you will be using graphics class method. The following sections discuss the most useful methods. The update, paint, and repaint methods. You will encounter three key methods over and over again as you work uh, with various user interface elements. Repaint requires a redraw of an item or an entire interface. It then calls update. Update controls what happens when repaint is called. You can override this method. Paint. Determine what is done when any item is redrawn. It is called whenever something needs to be redrawn. For example, when a window is uncovered, all displayable entities have paint methods that they inherit from component. An example of paint and repaint, import Java AWT star, import Java applet dot applet, public class paint methods extends applet init away. Public void in it, uh, y is equal to one, public void start while well true, y plus one uh, equal to one, repaint, wait for 50 milliseconds, and then I'll repaint again, try uh, thread dot sleep 50, catch interrupt, interrupted exception E, public void paint graphics G, draw a string to the screen, G dot draw string, allow world, not fail, comma, y. Component class chart features of all active GUI elements, all the active component other than menu, such as button, generate from the component class. The component method provide a wide uh, selection of functionality applicable to any interactive graphical element, Boolean action, event E object to this method usually written, it is called whenever an action event plus all the component. Boolean comma key down event E in key. Uh, this is called when uh, a key press or a key action event reaches a component. The key point, uh, parameter specifies which key was involved. You can use this to have components respond to key clicks. A Boolean key up given key, uh, uh, key. This method is invoked when component uh, receives a key release event. Boolean comma uh, lost focus event E object O. This is called when the object receives a lost focus event. Boolean, comma, mouse down, event E in it X in it Y. This is invoked when the component receives a mouse down event caused by the user clicking the mouse inside the component. The, the X and Y coordinates are, are in the coordinate system of the component, where zero, comma, zero is the upper left corner. Boolean mouse drag event E in it X in it Y. This is invoked when the user drags the mouse with mouse button down for the component generating a mouse drag event, boolean comma mouse enter event e in it text in it way. This is invoked. <coughs> each time the mouse goes for component generating a mouse enter event, boolean uh, comma mouse exit event e in it text in it way. This is called when the component receives a mouse exit event. 
the x and y values which are expressed in the components coordinates represent the first point outside the components bounding rectangle that the mouse goes over. Although the component has a large selection of methods, the following are the ones you will use most often. Re rectangle bounds, returns a bounding rectangle that contains the component. You need uh, check image, image uh, IMG, image observer IOPS, and monitors the status of an image and as it is being composed. You can use this uh, to wait to display a component such as can, uh, canvas that you send image until the image is ready. Image, create image, you need with the retight, create a new image. As we have said, disable, disable the component so that the user can interact with it. This is a synchronous method. The enable draws a disabled component differently than enabled one. Enable, enable, uh, see, dis uh, disabled component. This is synchronous method. Color, get background, returns the color of the background uh, for the component. Uh, font get font uh, return the current uh, uh, font for the component font matrix get font matrix get font matrix which contains information about size of text on the current platform for the component color get uh, foreground return the foreground color uh, the one that will be used to tolerance while uh, fill shapes and so on graphics paint graphic uh, g read as the component which uh, when it needs to be redone unless you want some custom behavior. The default method ensures that the component is drawn properly. Boolean, prepare image, uh, image uh, IMG, image observer, IMG underscore OPS, enables you to get an image ready for display prior to displaying it on the component. Another version enables you to specify a size for the image so that it can be scaled, repaint long time, repaints this uh, component by a specific term or cancel circle, repaint init text, init by, init width, init height, repaint the specific part of the component, repaint long time, init text, init by, init width, init height, it tries to repaint the specific region. If it cannot do so before the specific term, it quits. Reshape init text, init by, init width, init height enables you to specify the position and size of the component. This is synchronized method. Resize uh, init width, init height, uh, scale the component to fit uh, in the defined uh, bounding rectangle, maintaining the same origin. This is same as the version before, um, below, except you specify the width and height separately rather than with a dimension object. Resize dimension dim, scales the component to fit in the defined bounding rectangle, maintaining the same origin. Set background color, uh, a color. Set the background color uh, for a component. This is synchronous method. Set font, font, A underscore font. Specify the font that will be used uh, for any uh, text drawn in component. This is synchronization method. Set foreground color, A underscore color. Set the color for drawing lines and filling it shape. This is synchronous method. Show, make the component visible if it had been hidden. Dimensions, comma size, uh, return height and width of the component. Up, update graphic G, erase the contents of the component's graphic area every time it is called, validate causes the component to see whether it or any of the components it contains is valid. If any are, are, are invalid, the layout manager is called to bring things up to date. Containers, the area will containers uh, contain classes that can contain other elements, windows, panels, error boxes, frames, and applets are all containers. Whenever you want to display any components, such as button or pop-up menu, you will use a container to hold it. The base class for all containers is surprise, surprise the container class. The container class has a number of methods that make it easy to add and remove components, as well as to control the relative portion, positioning and layout of those components. Container can contain other containers, for example, so a window can contain several panels, container, is an abstract class and the methods are you will use most often are add component a and uh, component add a component to the container add component add component a component you need question add the component uh, at the specific uh, is a question this is the synchronous method we want that the order of flipping based on relative is a question may vary between machines this problem should be fixed eventually though inserts inserts Return the inserts object uh, for container. Inserts define the empty space the layout manager reserves around the edge of the container. Minimum distance from the edge of the component to the edge of the container. 
remove component A component, remove the component from the container. This is a asynchronous method. Set layout, layout manager, uh, M. Uh, set the layout manager, the container will use. Uh, if you supply null as the argument, no manager, layout manager is used, uh, you, you can use absolute positioning. Panels, applet inherits from uh, this class. Uh, this section examines panel in detail so that you can understand how the various demonstration apple applets work. Panel inherits from container. It does not create its own uh, window because it is used to group components inside other containers. Panels enable you to group items in a display in a way that might not be allowed by the uh, available layout managers. If you have a number of entries in your interface, for example, that have a label and a text field, you can define a panel that contains a label and a text field and add the panels so that the label and text field are always stay together on the same line, which would not be the case if we added uh, the two items separately below the panel, the layout manager uh, could put the label and, and the text field on different lines. Panel also are useful in layout managers in which uh, only one item is allowed in an area, such as the border layout layer manager. By using a panel, you can put several components in a single border layout area, such as not. Inserts and insert object defines the amount of empty space around the edge of a panel. Create a method for instance follows inserts, new inserts, uh, in it top, in it left, in it bottom, in it right. This defines uh, uh, a new insert instance which defines the boundary specified by the input argument. Frame, a frame is a full-fledged top level resizable window with the menu bar. You can specify the title, an icon, a cursor, see the frame section, for example, Windows, this class is not used very often, but it is a top level window without borders and the menu bar. Labels, labels are text items that don't really do much by using a label instead of draw string. You can use the layout manager for, to control uh, text uh, placement in a platform and monitor independent manner. The label creators and most useful methods for label class follow. New label, string label produces a label uh, with the specific string, new label, string label, in it uh, positioning uh, produces a label with the string aligned uh, uh, according to this uh, second way, which will be one of, uh, one of the three constants label center, label dot left, left dot right, uh, string, uh, come on, get text, returns label string, set text uh, string, new label, changes the label text buttons. Java buttons are uh, just like the buttons in uh, every other GUI. Their text are all surrounded by a shape and they generate an action event. The arguments is the buttons labeled after the user clicks them. New button string, the button label uh, creates a button with a specific label. The set label string, the new label. Set the lab, uh, button label to a specific string. Set uh, string get label. Uh, return the current uh, button label as string. Check boxes are uh, text items with checkable icon next to them. They are generally used when you want the user to be able to set several options prior to making a decision. You usually don't do anything when a checkbox is checked or unchecked. You usually just read the value of the checkboxes and some other control such as a button or menu item is activated. Just in the case you want the code to do something when uh, the box state changes, checkboxes generate uh, action event uh, with the new checkbox uh, state as the argument after the user clicks them. Radio button uh, look just like the checkboxes, but they are grouped uh, and uh, only one button in a group can be checked at any given time. The next section discusses how to implement radio buttons. New checkbox, create a new checkbox with no label. New checkbox string the label, uh, check create a new checkbox with label, new checkbox uh, string the label, checkbox group null, boolean check, create a new checkbox that is labeled and check. The middle argument is used with radio buttons. Set label string the new label, changes the label of a checkbox, string, uh, string get label, return the current label as a string, boolean get state, get the current checkbox state. Uh, check equal to true, set state, boolean, new state, set the new uh, state checkbox state, radio buttons. 
check boxes and relay buttons look different. Even though relay buttons are made up of check boxes, they are called relay buttons because that is what they are called in most of the US. The only uh, functional difference is that uh, one day one of the items in the radio button group can be selected at one time, like the buttons on your car radio. This is useful when you want your user to select one of the set of a option to be able to create a radio button group by associating a checkbox group instance with all the checkboxes in the group. Radio button uh, have only one create and button new checkbox string in the label checkbox group uh, a group would not check. This creates a new checkbox that is labeled and checked. The middle argument defines which radio button group checkbox belongs to. In order to use radio button, you also need to create new checkbox group, use this code, new checkbox group, um, because radio buttons are implemented as checkboxes in the display in checkboxes section are the ones you will use to get and set information. Choice menus, choice menus often uh, called pop-up menus are designed to allow the user to select an option from a menu and see the value chosen at all times. New choices, create a new choice item, add item string, the item name, add an item uh, to the choice menu. It can throw a new null pointer exception. This explains the method. In, uh, in it count time, uh, return the number of items currently in the menu, string, get item, in it menu item number, and then so the next text of a specified menu item, item zero is the first item in the menu. In it gets select index, return the index of a currently selected item. Item zero is the first item in the menu, string, get select item, uh, return the uh, text of currently selected menu items. Select in it menu item changes the selection to the specified item, this is synchronous method and it can throw legal argument exception. Select string menu item name, selects the menu item for which the name is as this specific string. Scrolling list displays multiple lines of text and each line corresponds to a selection item. Scroll bars are displayed. If the text is larger than the available space, the user can select one or more of the lines. Your program can read the user's selection. This generates even types action even when a list of item is double click the argument is the name of the list item list is select when a list item is selected the argument is the name of the list item selected list deselect when an item is deselected the argument is the name of the item deselected add item string an item label add adds a specific item to the end of the current item list of items in the list. This is synchronous method. Add item string item label in it location. Adds the specified item to the list at the specified location. This is synchronous method. Remember that the first item is in the list is number zero. For example, add item a test comma three and puts a test into the fourth position in the list and slides the previous fourth entry and all entries after it down one. Init clear removes all the entries in the list. This is synchronous method. Init count items, return number of items currently in the list. String get item init location returns the label of the list item at the specific location. Init get selected item index now throws an array index uh, out of boundary exception. If it is invoked uh, on a list where more than one item is selected, the method returns one. If no items are selected, this is synchronized method. In it, get selected index is written an array of the location of the selected item. This is synchronous method. It works with a single selection and with single selection list. It returns minus one if no items are selected. String gets selected item, returns the location of the currently selected item. This is synchronous method. A runtime exception is thrown if the method is called on a multiple uh, selection list. For that reason, uh, and the fact get selected items will work. With a single item, it is the best to avoid this method. If no items is selected, it returns null. The text component class is invisible but um, uh, uh, useful. This uh, class is abstract, but it is extended by both text fields and text areas. All the methods covered here are available in both uh, 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 both those GUI elements. 
the text component provides the basic tools for uh, finding out uh, what text is in the text item, get text, uh, setting the text uh, in an item, set, uh, set text and setting pieces of text, set select. When the you see uh, text fields or text areas, you won't have to worry about managing, managing the cursor location and the insertion point, the vertical cursor that tells user where newly typed text will be inserted or marking the text select, uh, uh, marking the selected text. All these functions are done for you by the AWT, the most useful text component methods follow. String get uh, selected text, uh, returns the text currently uh, selected in the text item. The text may have uh, selected by the user or through set selection method, string get text return all the text in the text item. Set text uh, string text enables you to uh, set the text in the text item. This replaces all the text in the item. If you want to insert or append the text, you need to use get text, modify the string, and then use set text to put the modified string back in the text item. Note that text area as insert and append methods. Text field, the text fields are designed to be used to allow the user to put uh, show, uh, short pieces of text, uh, usually no more than a few words or a single number. You can also use them to display information to the user, such as a phone number or a current sum of parts of the items the user is going to order. Because text field extends text component, you can define whether the user can edit the contents of the text field. Text area, text areas are assigned to a large shell stop text where large is more than one line. Text area extends text component by adding a number of additional methods as well as automatic scrolling of the text. New text area, define a default uh, empty text area. New text area, it rows in column, define an empty text area with specific number of rows in column. New text area, string contents, defines a text area that contains a specific string. New text area, string the contents in its row in its column, defines a text area containing a specific string and with a set number of rows and columns, append text uh, string new text, appends a specific string to the current contents of text area, in it, comma, get columns, uh, returns the current width of the text area in column, in it, comma, get rows, returns the current number of rows in the text area, in it, insert text string in the text, in it, what to add, uh, insert specific string at the specific location, replace text string, new text, and in it, start, in it, stop, um, it takes the text uh, text between start and stop inclusive and replaces it with the specified string. Organizing your interface with layout. <coughs> the traditional method for building a GUI has been uh, to position various interface elements such as buttons at the specified location in a window and then uh, to allow the user to move window around. Java had had to explore new approaches to define the layout of components because of the diversity of standard that it has to support. Although the AWT does not specify the approved location if, uh, of components, it also gives you layout managers that, that you define the, the relative placement of components that will look the same on a wide spectrum of display devices. Although you can build your own layout manager, it is easiest to use one of the managers that come with the AWT. In addition, uh, freeware layout managers are available. These are discussed along with how to build your own layout manager and more will be arriving in future. Follow layout. This is the la <laughs> default layout manager that every panel uh, uses unless you use the set uh, layout method to change it. It keeps adding components to the right of the receiving one until it runs out of space, then it starts with the next row. Grid layout. Grid layout is the simple rule to allow user to display the number of rows and columns in the layout. Grid layout then sticks one item in each grid cell. The cells are um, all, all the same size. The size of the cell is determined by the number of cells and the size of the container. New grid layout, uh, init rows, init columns, make a grid layout with specified number of rows and columns. New grid layout, init rows, init columns, init horizontal gap, init vertical gap, makes uh, a grid layout with specified rows and columns and with specified empty uh, space around each component. Grid 
Baglio. Uh, this is the most powerful complex and hard to use layout manager that comes with the AWT. Although it gives you the most flexibility, you can, should plan to spend some time experimenting with its parameter before you get a layout that, that you like. The basic principle of the layout is that you associate a constrained object and instance of grid back layout with each component in the layout. The grid back layout manager uses those constraints to determine how to lay out the components of the invisible grid where each component can occupy one or more grids. The created methods, grid back constraints, take no input parameters. You customize the instance by changing the following instance variables. And can specifies how uh, a component is aligned uh, if a component is smaller than the allocated space, the available constants in the center puts the component in the middle of the area, east aligns it with the right middle side, north aligns with uh, top middle, northeast puts it in the upper right corner, northwest puts it in the upper left corner, south aligns with it with the bottom middle, southeast puts it in the lower right corner, southwest puts it in the uh, lower left corner, West aligns it with the left middle side fill. Determine what happens if the space allocated to a component is larger than its impulse size. The allowable value follow both tells the component to fill the space in both directions. Horizontal tells the component to fill the space in the horizontal direction, then leaves the component at the default size. Vertical tells the component to fill the space in the vertical direction. Grid height. Specifies the height of the component in the grid cells. The constant remainder specifies that the component is the last one in column and therefore should get all the remaining cells. Grid width specifies the width of the component in the grid cell. The constant remain in the specifies that the component is the last one in the row and therefore should get all the cells remaining in the row. Grid depth specifies the grid position of the left side. Of the component in the horizontal direction, the constant relative space phase, the position order to the right of the previous uh, component, grid grid y specifies the grid position of the top of the component uh, in the vertical direction, the constant relative space phase, the position below the previous component. Insets enable you to set an instance of the insert class that specifies the white spaces uh, around an object. It provides more flexibility than iPad X and iPad Y. Because it allows different white spaces on the left than on the right, and uh, different white spaces on the top than on the bottom of the component. iPad X uh, specifies the amount of padding empty space to put on either side of the component it increases the effective size of the component. iPad Y specifies the amount of padding to put above and below the component. Weight X specifies how extra horizontal uh, space space not needed for default component. Uh, size is allocated between components. This is a relative value normally chosen to be between 0 and 1, and the values of the components are compared when allocating space. One of the components has a weight 0.7, another has a weight 0.2. The, for example, the one with 0.7 gets more extra space than one with 0.2. The weight y, same as weight x, but uh, for vertical direction, border layout, the border layout divides. They contain into five pieces, four uh, form the four borders of the container, and the fifth one is the center. You can add one component to each of these five areas. Because the component can be a panel, you can add more than one interface element, such as a button, to each of the five areas. Border layout make room uh, for the items in the border, four border areas, referred to as north, south, east, west. And that then, whenever is left over, uh, is assigned to the center area. This layout is nice if you want to place scroll bars around the panel. Place the scroll bars in the border uh, regions. Use all four scroll bars of just two and place the panel there you want. Scroll in the center. Card layout. Card layout is the different from, uh, from the other because it enables you to create virtual screen real estate by defining multiple cards, one of uh, which is visible at any time. Each card contains a panel that can contain any number of interface elements, including other panels. If you have you ever used HyperCard on the Mac, you will be familiar with the Rolodex uh, Roll type of interface. It is also similar to the tabbed dialog boxes that are the rage in Microsoft products, but cards 
uh, lack any built-in way to go from cloud to cloud, we have to provide an interface for that. Images, the developers of Java knew that working with images is a critical part of the any modern programming language with a goal of implementing user interfaces that meet the criteria of users because Java is the platform independent, though it could not be uh, used any of the platform specific formats such as the Mac PACT standard. Fortunately, they are already two platform dependent independent format, GIF and JPEG. These formats are especially nice because they are compressed so that transmitting them uh, takes less of the limited uh, network bandwidth. The ability so AWT supports both these compression formats, but it uses neither of them internally. Although you can read a GIF or JPEG files, they are converted into images which are just bitmaps. All the work you do in Java with images is based on images class for uh, some strange reason, even though there is a special package for image manipulation related classes, Java AWT.image. The image class itself resides in the top level Java, Java AWT package. Image is an abstract class designed to support bitmapped images in yeah, a platform independent manner, although this class provides just the basics for working with images. It does have several methods you will find useful. Java uh, uses a model of image producers and image consumers. Image producers generate pixels from a file or image object and image consumers use and uh, display those pixels. But image consumer and image producer are Java interfaces. The AWT comes with image producers for reading uh, from local page and URLs array in memory and image object. It also comes with uh, crop image filter, RGP image filter and pixel grabber, which implement the image consumer interface windows. The windows class implements a window with a no border and no menu bar. This generally is not useful class on its own, but because frame and, and dialog, uh, which are use, uh, useful extended, it, it is useful to take a quick look at the windows method dispose. This gets uh, rid of windows peer uh, when the window is destroyed, you need to call this method. This is the place method. Toolkit, get toolkit, returns the toolkit also with the window. Show displays the uh, window, make it visible and moving it to the front. This is a syn uh, synchronized method. Two back. Moves the window, begin all the other windows in the application. Two front moves the window in front of all other windows. User interactions with a window can cause it to generate window, destroy window, iconify window, the iconify and window mode events, frames. A frame implements resizable window that supports a menu bar, cursor, icon, and title. Frame generate uh, same events as windows with which they extend. Uh, window destroy, window uh, iconify, window, the iconify, and window mode. The only parameter you can pass to the frame constructor is a string which will be <coughs> window frame title. You, you generally will create your own class that extends frame and contains event handling method and the, that overage component methods such as action, mouse down and key down. When you extend the class, you can make a uh, created methods uh, with more input parameters. One useful technique when you are using frame with uh, applets is to pass the applet uh, using this, the, the Java construct that refer to the object in those scope the program line is in you know, to the frame and so that the frame method can invoke applets method and rewrite applet instant variables. The most useful frame method, uh, methods follow dispose, enable you to free up windows, windowing resources when you are done with frame. This is synchronized method, init get cursor type, return the integer constant that define uh, which cursor currently is displayed, image, get image, icon image, return the image being used when the window is reduced to an icon, menu bar, get menu bar, returns the frame menu bar, string get title, returns frame title, boolean is resizable, return true if frame is can be resized, this attribute can be toggled, toggled using the set resizable method, remove menu component can be removes the menu bar associated with the frame. This is synchronized method. Set cursor, init cursor constant, set the current cursor to the one specified by the input argument, set color, con image, 
email icon, uh, icon image, uh, set the icon to be used when the frame is reduced to an icon to an input image. And set menu bar, menu bar MP, set the menu bar per frame, the synchronous method set resizable, Boolean flag changes the frame size if the input parameter is true, if the input is false, the uh, frame is a set size, set title, set uh, string new title, set the window title menus. You can put a menu bar in a frame or window, but not an applet. All the other menu classes inherit the menu component. Menu component is an abstract class, but you will use these methods fairly often. Font get font returns the font used for the current uh, item. Set font font to a point. And then set the font to be used to display the item on which the menu is invoked. The menu bar class is a container for a set of menus displayed with a frame. The key the menu bar methods follow menu add menu a menu. Add a menu to the menu bar. The return value is and is handled to the menu, added menu. Menu are added left to right. This is a synchronous method. In it, count menus returns the number of menus currently in the menu bar. Menu get help menu returns the menu that is defined as help menu for the menu bar. Menu get menu in init position returns the menu item at a given location in the menu bar. Remove init position. Remove the menu at a specific position using the synchronous method. Remove menu, common component menu. Remove the specified menu from the menu bar. This is synchronous method. Set health menu, uh, menu, a yeah, menu. Then set the specified menu to the health menu, which always is placed on the right side of the menu bar. This is synchronous method. The menu class implements pull down menus. These are uh, two, there are two destructors uh, there and some useful menu methods. New menu string a label, place a new menu with a specified label. New menu string a label, boolean, tear off, place a new menu with a specified label, which can be torn off from the menu bar. Menu item, add menu item and entry, add the specified menu item to menu. You, you make hierarchical menus by adding menus to another menu. This is synchronized method. Add string uh, label, adds a new entry to the menu, add separator, adds a separating line to the menu, add init count items, returns the count of the number of items in the menu. Menu, menu item, get item, init portion, uh, returns the menu item at a specific location. Boolean is tear off, returns to menu uh, as a tear off enable. Remove init portion, removes the menu item at a specific location. This is increased further. Remove Menu component and item removes uh, the specified menu item. This is Crane's method. The menu item class implements a functionality of a single entry in the end. Hold on, menu. When, I, uh, when you create one, you uh, have to supply its label as a string. As the input parameter, you will use the add method to add menu items to menus. In the most uh, useful menu item methods below disable, place out a menu item, and prevents the user from selecting it. Enable uh, enables a menu item so the user can uh, select it. Enable put in some statement, enables a menu item, the logical statement. Evaluates to true uh, string get label, returns the items label. Boolean is enabled. Return uh, true if the user can select the, select the item, set label, set uh, string new label, changes the label of the menu item to be specified a string an action event is generated whenever the menu is item is selected by the user the check menu box menu item class extends menu item and implements the functionality of the menu item with associated the checkbox the two methods of this class that will come in handy are follow boolean get state return uh, true if menu item is checked uh, set state boolean new state set the state of the menu item. Dialog, you can build your own dialog boxes using frames, but the dialog class enables you to create more modal dialog boxes. A modal dialog box causes the user to deal with dialog box before doing anything else. Although this generally is not a good idea, certain types of actions such as notifying a user to a problem require user input before the program can do anything else. Dialog boxes are containers, as you so you can add components to them. But that default layout manages border layout rather than pro layout. User interaction with the dialog boxes can generate windows, destroy windows, iconify windows, iconify 
and windows more events as with other windows related classes you should call the dispose method inherited from windows when the window is destroyed in order to free up windows system resources the, the, the two dialog created methods follow new dialog frame a parent boolean model plot creates the new dialog box that uh, that is moral if the second argument is true new dialog frame a parent uh, string dialog uh, title boolean model plot uh, function like the preceding method except that you can especially the name of the dialog box unfortunately the dialogs can be created only as children of frame frames as you can see from the arguments to the creator function this might make you think that you can't use dialogs with your app plus but though the use of a mirror uh, subplot should you can file dialog the, this class enables you to access the user's native file openings and saving dialog boxes it is a modal dialog box that you can create with the following two creator methods new dialog box frame a parent string title create a file selection model dialog box with a specified file new file dialog uh, frame a parent uh, string title in it mode plot functions that is like the preceding method except that you can specify using this third parameter whether this is a file selection or a file saving dialog box uh, the two concepts you should know choose follow uh, file dialog load open the uh, file dialog box file dialog save save the uh, file dialog box the general approach to uh, using this class is to create the dialog box and then show it will when you want to the user to select or save a file when the user finishes the, with the model dialog box you can use a get directory and get file method to get a path to the files that is to be a saved or loaded the methods you will find most useful for the file dialog follow string get the directory return the directory to the file the user selected or directory where the user wants to save a file the string uses backslashes to separate directories and it does not end with backslash a file on this space inside a folder files for example will return slash space files string get files return the name of the file to be opened or the name of the file to be saved as file name filter get the file name filter returns the file name filter and interface specification that enables you to filter which appear in the dialog box and who is the file dialog box empty get more returns the more of the dialog box set directory set string default directories um, enables you to set the directory the user uh, sees uh, when the dialog box open specify the directory with the same uh, string format returned by the get directory method set file uh, string a file set the uh, file in the dialog box set file name filter filter name File, uh, uh, file name filter, a uh, filter associates an instance of the file name uh, filter with the dialog box. The one button in the file name filter class is called a, uh, for every file and only those that pass the test are displayed. Thank you. Hi, I am a tutor in App Labs. Today we are going to discuss about Java exceptions and programming by contacts. Exceptions, exceptions, an object representing an error. Other languages don't have this concept. They represent errors by returning error codes, null, minus one, false, etc. Are exceptions better? What are the benefits? Throw to cause an exception to occur. What are some actions that commonly throw exceptions? Catch to handle an exception. If an exception is thrown, no code catches it. A program's execution will stop and an error trace will be printed. If the exception is caused, the program can continue running. Code that throws exception dividing by zero. Unit text equal to zero. System out dot print line one by x. Arithmetic exception. Trying to dereference a null uh, variable. Point p is null. P dot translate to comma minus three null pointer exception. Try to interrupt. Uh, 
input in the wrong way, number of format, number format exception, init error, integer dot uh, parse init i. Reading a non-existent file, file not found exception, scanner in, new scanner, new file, not here dot text. Exception avoidance, in many cases, the best plan is to try to avoid exceptions. Better to check first than try, catch without check. Init x, if x not equal to zero, system out print line one by x. File, file equal to new file, not here text. If file exists, scanner in, new scanner file. Can we avoid this one? Init error, integer, parse a, int, str. Try statements, catch, type name, code to handle the exception. Try to uh, code execute. Um, if the given exception occurs, the try uh, block uh, stops running. It jumps to the catch block and runs that. Try scanner in, new scanner, new file, file name. System dot out dot print line input next line. Catch file not found exception E. System out dot print line file was not found. Throwing and catching at any time, you can program an active callback of methods. When an exception is thrown, the JVM looks up the call stack until it finds a method with a matching catch block for it. If one is found, control jumps back to the, uh, that method. If none is found, the program crashes. Exception allow non-local error handling. A method many levels up the stack up can uh, handle a deep error. Method where a error has occurred, method call, uh, main, method call, method with an exception handler, method call, method with an encode and exception handler, method call, method where error occurred. Catch and then what? Public void process string uh, str init and try an integer parse it in a str catch number formatting exception nfe system dot out dot print line invalid number plus str possible ways to handle an exception try retry the operation that file reprompt the user for new input print a nice error message quit the program do nothing why and when exception methods all exception objects have these methods public string get message a text uh, describing the error public string to string exceptions type and description get calls get the stack trace print track trace other methods try read file catch io exception e system dot output dot print line io error uh, plus e dot get message design and exceptions effective java tip 57 um, use exception only for exceptional conditions. The other of the integer dot parse it uh, method go, got this wrong. String uh, that are not legally uh, as units are common, not exceptional. What should they have done instead? Can we avoid this one? Not really. Um, init n uh, try n integer parse uh, int uh, here catch number format exception n is equal to minus one. Ignoring exceptions. Effective Java tip specify don't ignore exceptions. An empty catch block is a common poor style, often done to get code to compile or write an error. Try read file name, read file file name, catch IO exception B, do nothing in a, um, on error. At minimum, print out the exception as so you know it happened. Catch IO exception B, e, print stacks uh, trace just in case. Catch multiple exception, try statements, catch type one name, go to handle the exception, catch type two name, go to handle the exception, catch a type and name, go to handle the exception. You can catch more than one kind of exception in the same code. When an exception is thrown, a matching catch block, if any, is used. If multiple catch blocks match, the most specific match is chosen. Uh, exception inheritance, all exceptions extend from the common superclass exception. Uh, class not found exception, data format exception, IO exception, no such method exception, runtime exception, SQL exception. If you take IO exception, file not found exception, uh, mall uh, formed uh, URL exception, socket exception. If you take runtime ex uh, exception, arithmetic expression, illegal, 
class cast exception, concurrent modification exception, index stack exception, illegal argument exception, illegal state exception, index uh, out of bound exception, no such element exception, null pointer exception, security exception, and supported operation exception. Some common errors, exceptions, arithmetic exception, buffer buffer work, not series uh, buffer work by exception, class cost exception, class not found exception, clone not supported exception, concurrent modification exception, and P stack exception, illegal argument exception, illegal state exception, index out of bound exception, interrupted exception, IO exceptions, you end of fail exception, fail not found exception, interrupt IO exception, small form to URL exception, and not serial several exception, socket exception, SSLE exception. Unknown worst exception, zip exception, jar exception, mall form URL exception, negatively array size exception, no such element exception, null pointer exception, protocol exception, runtime exception, security exception, unknown element exception, unsupported operation exception. See also http.mindprod.com, jgloss, exception.html. Inheritance exception, you can cast a general exception to handle any. Uh, subclass, try scanner uh, input, new scanner, new file, uh, foo, system out, uh, dot out, dot print line input, uh, and uh, exe line, catch exception, e system dot out, dot print line file not, uh, was not found. Similarly, you can state that a method throws any exception, public void foo throws exception, or there any disadvantage of doing so. Catching uh, with the inheritance, try statements, catch file, uh, not found exception, FNFE, uh, code handle the file not found by exception, catch IO exception, IOE, uh, code handle any other IO exception, catch um, exception E, uh, code handle any other exception, a yeah, uh, socket exception will match the second block, an arithmetic exception will match the third block. Who should catch it? The code that is able to uh, handle the error pro properly should be the code that catches the exception. Sometimes this is not the top method on the stack. Example, main show GUI, click, read file, file not found exception, which method should handle the exception and why. Main, new poker game, new player, I load history, inter, integer dot uh, parse in it, number format exception, uh, which method should handle the exception and why. Throw in exception, throw new exception, message type, message, this common practice is throw exceptions on next errors. Public void deposit double amount. If amount less than 0 0.0, throw new illegal argument exception. Balance plus equal to amount. Why throw rather than just ignoring the negative value? Why not uh, return a special error code such as minus one or false? Good throwing style. An exception can uh, accept a string parameter for a message describing what went wrong. This is a string written by get message in a cache block, public void deposit uh, double amount, if amount less than 0, 0.0, throw new illegal argument exception, negative deposit uh, equal to plus amount, balance plus uh, equal to amount, um, EJ tip 63, include failure caption information in detailed messages, tell the caller what went wrong to help them fix the problem. Commenting exceptions, if you have methods for always explain this in the comments, um, state the type of exception thrown and under what conditions. Place the given amount of money into the this account throws an illegal uh, argument exception and, and uh, negative deposits. Public white deposit double amount. If amount less than 0 0.0, throw in a new illegal argument exception, negative deposit, uh, colon plus amount, balance plus amount, EJ tip 62, document all exceptions thrown by each method. The client must know this in order to avoid or catch the exception. Checked exceptions, Java has two major kinds of exceptions. Checked exception, one that must be handled by a try and catch block or throw class or else the program will not compile. Um, meant for serious problem that caller ought to deal with subclasses of exceptions in the inner time three, runtime exception. One that don't have to be handled if not handled, the program also mean, uh, meant for small uh, errors or program errors. Program errors, uh, subclasses of runtime exception in the three mistakes that uh, could have been avoided by the test check for null or equal uh, zero, check if fail exists, 
check error is bound. Throwable error exception, runtime exception, null pointer exception, number format exception, class cache exception, index out of bound exception, uh, IO exceptions, SQL exception, more informed exception. Throw class, public type name parameter throw type, a class in a method, header climbing, it may cause an exception needed when, an, when a method may throw an uncaught uh, checked exception, public void process file string file name throw file not found exception. The above means one of two possibilities process file itself might throw an exception, process file might call some sub method that throws an exception, and it is choosing not to catch it, rather to re throw it out to the caller. Writing an exception class, EJ tip 61, throw exception appropriate to the abstraction. When no provider exception class is quite right for your app's kind of error, you should write your own exception subclass. Thrown when the user tries to play after the game is over, public class game over exception, extends a runtime exception, private string winner, public game over exception, string message, string winner, sub super message, this winner, winner, public string, get winner, return winner. In game class, if not in progress, throw new game over exception, game already ended, winner. Check the exception suck. EJ tip 15, avoid unnecessary use of checked exception. Checked exceptions are arguably a war to the DevOps language. It should be the client's decision whether or not to catch the exception. When writing your own exception classes, extend runtime exceptions so that it does not need to be caught unless the client wants to do so. Some cases still require throwing checked exceptions. Example, a file I.O. Public white play throw exceptions. No. Public white play throw exception, uh, throws runtime exception. Better. Public white play throw MP3 exception. Best. Public white uh, uh, public class MP3 exception extended runtime exception. Problem uh, redundant uh, code public void process output stream out try read from out might throw out dot close uh, catch IO exception e out dot close system out dot print line caught IO exception plus e dot get message the close code appears redundantly in both places can't move it out below the try catch block because close itself could throw an IO exception. They finally block try statements, catch type name, uh, code uh, to handle the exception. Finally, code to run after the try or catch finishes. Finally, uh, is the often use the for common cleanup code. Try uh, read uh, from out, might throw, catch IO exception, is system dot out dot print link, uh, caught IO exception plus E dot get message finally out dot close. The cache block is optional. Try finally is also legal. Exception errors. There are also errors which represent serious tower problem. Error and exception are common superclass throwable. You can catch an error, but uh, uh, you probably should not. Throwable exception error. As I said, an error, I will error, linkage error, uh, threat death. Virtual machine error, um, virtual, in virtual machine, internal error, of memory error, stack overflow error. Common errors, abstract method error, AWD error, class format error, exceptional in, in initialized error, illegal access error, instantiation error, internal error, linkage error, no class depth found error, no such field error, no such method error, out of memory error. Server error, stack workflow error, unknown error, and satisfied link error, and supported class version error, verify error, virtual machine error. Effective Java tips uh, 38. And tip 38 check parameters for validity. If your method has a notion that uh, some uh, values are invalid and no, knows how to identify those values early in the code, if it is not uh, very expensive to check them, but how does the client know which parameters are not checked? Uh, what should you do if they are not valid? How does the client know what you are going to do if they are invalid? <coughs> programming by uh, contract, programming by contract, design by contract, defining formal, precise, and verifiable interface specifications for software components, which extend the ordinary definition of abstract data types with preconditions, post conditions, and invariants. Three key questions that the designer must repeatedly ask 
what does this code ex expect? What does it guarantee? What does it maintain? Preconditions, precondition something assumed to be true at the start of a call. Return the element at the given index, precondition index greater than or equal to zero, less than size, public init get init index, return element data index, index zero to nine, value three, eight, nine, seven, five, twelve, zero, 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 size six. Uh, starting a precondition does not solve the problem of users passing in proper indexes, uh, but it, uh, it at least documents our decision and warns the client what not to do. Choosing preconditions, examples of poorly chosen preconditions, starting the obvious pre string S yes, is string, the computer has enough memory to run, making up for a lazy or poor implementation for POW, experiment uh, can't be negative, can only compute positive powers. Our list that I is, is sorted, list should not contain any duplicates because our code messes up in that case and returns the wrong answer. Things that clients cannot check, avoid or ensure for stack dot push tax internal array capacity must be greater than equal to stack size for the download. If it starts, the whole fail will arrive successfully. Horseman would trip 3.61. Client must be able to check the preconditions of a method before calling it. Precondition violation formally if a client violates a precondition by default, the object does not specify what will happen. It makes no promise that the method will work successfully, might do nothing, might return an unusual value or error value, null, zero, minus one, etc. Uh, might throw an exception, might get stuck in an infinite loop, might leave the object in a corrupt state, save the wrong file, etc. What is the best way to handle a precondition violation? Approach one, return error value can handle a precondition violation by making a special value return is the element at a given index, precondition uh, index greater than equal zero, less than size, public init get uh, in the init index. If index less than zero or, or uh, index greater than equal to size, return minus one, else return element data index. Is this a good or a bad approach? Bad, the, the, minor, the my, uh, minus one return is indistinguishable from the minus one in the actual data, where the client may not. Approach to throw exception can handle a precondition violation by throwing an exception, returns the element at the given index, precondition index greater than equal to zero, less than size, public init get init index. If index less than zero or uh, index greater than equal to size, throw now index out of bound exception index, else return elemental data index. File fast, uh, client learns about the problem immediately and can fix it. And passing a bad value usually indicates a bug in the client, so this is good. Exceptions in the contract uh, from Java util dot dot util dot stack public epop removes the object on the top of this uh, stack and returns it. Returns the object at the top of the stack. Throws empty stack exception if stack is empty. Most preconditions are things the stack assumes to be true, and as far as the client knows that are not checked by the stack. If the client violates a precondition, stack could do anything. In this case, the stack documents a pre predictable behavior through in response to the empty stack condition. So we say that the exception is part of the contract. If you change it, say uh, to return null, you have changed the contract. Precondition and private, private internal methods do not usually test preconditions. The helper does the real work of removing an item private white remove helper in init index should I check uh, index greater than equal zero less, uh, less than size here for init i uh, equal to index i less than size minus one i plus plus elemental data is equal to element data plus i uh, i plus one element data size minus one is equal to zero size minus minus why not Precondition and private private uh, internal methods do not usually pre, uh, test preconditions. Helper does the real work of removing an item. Private wide remove helper index init index. Should I check um, index greater than or equal zero less than size here for init i equal to index i less than size minus one i plus plus element data i is equal to element data i plus one element data i data size minus one is equal to zero size minus minus why not since the method can only be called internally the class other can make sure to call it only when preconditions hold 
Precondition and private, uh, private internal methods do not usually test preconditions. Help us does not uh, uh, does the real work of removing an item. Private wide uh, remove helper in the init index. Uh, should I check index zero size here for I init I is equal to index I less than size minus one I plus plus element of uh, data I is equal to uh, data I plus one element of data size minus one zero size minus minus. Why not since the method can only be called internally, the class author can make sure to call it only when the precondition won't. If any check at all is made, make it an assert statement. See next. Precondition example, binary search on the init uh, from Java API, such as the specified array of units for specified value using the binary search algorithm, the array must be sorted or as by sorted sort method above. We have to make king this call if it is not sorted, the results are undefined. Why does not sun just check whether the array is sorted? Idea one, if it is not sorted, sort it. Idea two, if it is not sorted, throw an exception. Sort is cost, uh, takes um, of the order of n log n or worse, such is uh, of the order of log n. Even checking to see whether the array is sorted is costly or of n. Omitting this check and assuming it to be uh, true makes binary search much faster. Sort modifies array. Binary search would have a side effect. So how do we catch the bugs where the client violates the yes, precondition? Checking precondition assertion, a logical statement that can be made about a program at a particular point in time and is expected to be true. At this point in the code, it should be the case that x is greater than zero. Java and other languages supply an asset statement. Other statements can be enabled, disabled. They are off by default. Assertions should be used to check your basic assumptions that should never fail. They uncover things that should not have happened. For example, verify preconditions when testing debugging. When an assertion fails, this is considered an error on the part of the developer and should be fixed immediately. Exception in the contract are more common. Assertion in Java assert condition, assert condition message, colon message, enabling and assertion Java uh, enable assertion class name or tell your editor ID to enable them. Assertion code is zero cost when disabled, very important. In C++ assert is a compile run time thing. In Java, you can selectively enable, disable uh, assertions at run type. Assert statement example returns index A of N in A. Or uh, a or in minus one if not one precondition a is in a starter order public static init binary search init uh, a init n assert is sorted uh, colon array must be sorted returns true if given array is sorted public static uh, static boolean uh, is sorted init a uh, for init i is equal to zero i less than a dot length minus one I plus plus A of I is equal to greater than A of I plus one, return false, returned true. Take a post condition. Post condition sometimes your method promises will be true at the end of its execution if all preconditions were true at the start. Make sure that this list is this internal array is large enough to store the given number of elements. Precondition capacity greater than uh, equal to zero, post condition uh, colon element data dot length greater than equal to capacity, public void, uh, ensure capacity, need capacity, while capacity greater than element data dot length, element data arrays dot copies of element data, um, come out to star element data dot length. If your method states a post condition, client should be able to rely on that statement being true after they call the method. Java docs uh, comments, um, description of class method field, et cetera. Uh, add tag attributes, add tag attributes, and so on. Java tag comments, uh, special command syntax for describing detailed specifications of Java classes and methods put on the uh, all class headers, public methods, and public fields. Main benefit tools can run Java doc uh, comments into HTML specs pages. Eclipse and other editors have useful built in Java doc uh, support. Main drawback comments can become bulky and order to read. Java doc uh, tags on a method or constructor tag description at param uh, name description describes a parameter at return description describes what value will be written. 
at those exception type and reason this gives an exception that may be thrown and what would cause it to be thrown at uh, within braces at code source code for showing java code in the comments within braces at inherit uh, doc allows a subclass method to copy java doc comments from superclass version on a class header at other name uh, other of a class at version number class version number in any format java doc example each bank account object models the uh, uh, Account information for a single user of uh, Fels Vargo uh, Bank um, or the JS metric version. Public class bank account, the standard interest rate at all account, public static final double interest rate is 0.03, detects the given amount of money uh, from this account's balance if possible and returns whether the money is money was directed successfully to uh, if so. False if not, uh, if the account does not contain sufficient funds to uh, make this uh, withdrawal, no funds are uh, withdrawn. At per uh, amount, the amount of money to be returned at return, true if the amount was returned, else false at throw. Illegal argument exception if amount is negative public, Boolean withdraw, double amount, this is closes. Java docs out as HTML. Java includes tools to convert Java doc commands into web pages from terminal Java doc minus d doc slash star dot Java. Eclipse has this built in project generate Java doc. The actual the Java API spec web pages are generated from the sun's Java docs commands on their own source code. The binary is Java doc HTML example from Java dot util dot list interface source code returns the element and the specified question in this list. Uh, P this method is uh, em not e slash em uh, guaranteed to run in constant time in some implementation it may run in uh, time proportional to the element portion at param index index of element to return must be non negative and less than size of this list and at return the element. Uh, specific question at throws index out of bound exception. If the index is out of bound range um, um, within braces at code index less than zero, RR index greater than equal to this size, uh, public e get init index. Notice that HTML tags may be embedded inside the commands. Java enums and constant, each class constants or enumeration value can be commented and instrument selection of a symphony orchestra or web join within public enum orchestration section, world woodwind, such as flute, clarinet, and clarinet, and OBE, woodwind, brass instruments such as trumpet, brass, percussion instruments uh, such as uh, cymbals, uh, percussion, so distinct instruments such as violin, cello, string. What does that uh, uh, goes in at param slash written? Don't repeat yourself or write uh, back QS comments. Take an index and element and add the element there. At param index index to use at param element element to add public boolean add uh, in it index e element. Better inserts the specific element at specific question in this list. Shift the element correctly at the question. You can and any subject elements to the right and add one of their. It is just written whether uh, the add was successful at param index index at which element is to be inserted at param element element to be inserted at the given index at return uh, to if error successfully false if not at throws index out of one exception if index out of uh, range um, within braces at code index less than zero um, or index greater than size public boolean add index in it index e element. You, your Java code is your spec. Whenever you write a code, a class to be used by clients, you should write full Java doc comments for all of its public behavior. This constitutes your specification to all clients for your class. You can post the generated HTML files publicly for clients to view. A common distribution of a library class, classes, binaries, class files, often packaged into an archive, specification Java doc, uh, .html files or a public URL to view them. Eclipse use user Java doc for auto -com, uh, completion. Effective Java tip 44, write Java doc comments for all exposed 
API elements, anything that is not private. JavaDoc and private. Uh, private internal methods do not need JavaDoc commands. A JavaDoc command public wide remove in, in it index help does not re, does the real work of removing the item at the given index. Private wide remove helper in it index for uh, in it uh, i is equal to index i less than size minus one i plus plus element of data i is equal to element of data i plus one element of data size minus one is equal to zero size minus minus private members do not appear in the generated HTML pages. Custom Java doc, uh, tags, Java doc tags, Java doc does not uh, have tags for pre post condition, but uh, you can add them at pre condition, uh, notes a pre condition in API documentation, or at pre condition, describe a condition that must be true for the method to perform its functionality at post condition, notes a post condition in API documentation, or at post condition, describes a condition that is guaranteed to be true at the end of this method's functionality. So, long as all preconditions were true at the start of the method. By default, these tags won't show up in the generated HTML, but applying custom to our uh, Java doc stacks but from terminal, Java doc uh, minus D doc minus tag preconditions colon CM colon precondition tag post colon CM colon post condition uh, start dot Java in Eclipse project generate uh, Java doc. Next, next. Um, in extra Java doc over option box type minus tag pre colon cm precondition colon minus tag post colon cm colon post condition. The general Java API pages will now be able to display pre and post conditions proper tags properly. Thank you. Hi, I'm a tutor in Atlas. Today, we are going to discuss about mutation and class design in Java. Mutation, uh, a modification to the state of an object, point P, new point, uh, 3 comma 5, system of dot print line P, uh, 3 comma 5, P dot translate 1 comma 3 mutator, system dot out dot print line P, 4 comma 8. Mutation must be done with care. So can the object state be damaged? Is the old state important? Is it okay to lose it? Do any other claims depend on this object? Do they accept, uh, expect that its state will not change? Defensive copying, defensive copy to duplicate an object prior to making a mutation point P new point three comma five system out print line P three comma five point copy P dot clone uh, copy translate one comma three mutator your system out dot print line copy four comma eight system out dot print line p three comma five. Sometimes you uh, you then perform the mutation to the copy. Sometimes you perform the mutation to the original object. The copy serves as a backup in the case of mutation is undesirable. EJ tips thirty nine make uh, defensive copies when needed. A poor design. Suppose we have a bank account class get balance method uh, returns the bank's accounts balance. The method also changes charges uh, also charges here one point five dollar fee if you ask for a balance too many times calling the method more than three x per day why is this a poor design we should not uh, combine a crucial um, assessor with an unrelated mutation impossible to access without an intention of mutating the client might uh, call it many times without thinking to print balance, etc. Another client might have already called the method before me. Side effect additionally, uh, additional externally visible behavior began the core functionality of a method. Mutator versus accessor, public string next scanner, public key next uh, iterator, scanner iterators next method, both uh, as accessors and mutators. Oxman tip 3.4.3, whenever possible, keep accessors and mutators separate. Ideally, mutators is written void. One exception, returning an old value. An example, ash map get. What would uh, be a better design for scanner and iterator? A get, a, a, a get current method that returns current element. A got, go to next method, or a next method that returns the next element. Mutator versus producer. It is important to note whether a call performs this modification in place 
on arguments post to it or creates a new object, a mutated method modifies an existing object, a production method creates and returns a new object. Example, array start sort init, does it uh, sort the array post or does it leave that array and test and return a new uh, sorted array? It sorts in the array post. Example, maps uh, methods named key set and values that return collections of all the keys or values in the map. Especially if I modify one of those return collections, that is modifying the map. Yes. Modifying strings, what is the output of this code? String uh, name, uh, lil bo, bo, bo uh, name dot to uppercase, still system out print line name. The code <laughs> lil bo, bo in lowercase, they have to capitalize, we must reassign the string name, in name dot uh, to uppercase. But uh, the two uppercase method is a producer, not a mutator. When we uh, must we do uh, call the methods in this way? What is going on uh, with strings to require this sort of usage? Immutable classes, immutable, unable to be changed, mutated. Basic idea: a class with a no set of methods, mutators. In Java, strings are immutable. Many methods appear to modify. <coughs> Modify a string, but actually they create and return a new string to process. We was Java designed this way. Why not make it possible to mutate string? Is there any way to mutate a string? What is so bad about the idea of mutating a string object? If strings were mutable, what uh, could go wrong if strings were mutable? Public employee string name, this name, name public string get name, return name. A client could accidentally damage the employee's name, string s, my employee dot get name, a s dot substring, zero s dot index of uh, first name, s dot to uppercase. Mutable string builder, a string builder object holds a mutable array of characters, method and description string builder, new mutable string either empty or with a given initial uh, text, string builder capacity, string builder text, append value, append text value to strings and delete start and delete uh, character at index, removes characters sliding subsequent ones to cover them, replace start and text, remove start and, and add text there, character index, index of uh, string, loss, uh, index of string, length, uh, substring start and end, Mirror of methods of string class, public string to string, it has an equal normal string. String plus implementation, the following code run surprisingly slowly. Why? String is null uh, uh, for edit i is equal to zero, i less than 40,000, i plus plus, s plus equal to x, system out dot print line s. Internally, Java converts the loop into the following. Uh, for init i is equal to zero, i less than 40,000, i plus plus string builder sp is equal to new string builder s, sp dot append is equal to x, sp is equal to s, uh, sp dot to string s, y is the code slow. EJ tip 51 beware the performance string concatenation. Minimizing mutability, f50 dot f15 minimize mutability, why? Easier to design, implement, and mute, uh, use uh, immutable objects, less prone to developer error, less prone to misuse backlines, more secure, can be optimized for better performance, memory use sometimes. For effective Java classes should be immutable unless there is a very good reason to make them mutable. If a class cannot be immutable, they may immute its mutability as much as possible. FP and immutability function programming. You yeah, program as a sequence of functions that call each other as expressions. Everything is immutable, almost variables, values cannot be changed, uh, only redefined functions behavior depends only on their input or no side effects. Benefits of this programming style, the compiler interpreter can easily optimize the code, much easier to understand correct behavior of the code. Code can be more thoroughly verified for correctness, robust or for one chunk of code damage another, lack of side effects reduces the dependency between code, allows code to be more easily parallelized. Making a class immutable, don't avoid any methods that modify the object state, ensure that the class cannot be extended, make all fields final, 
make all these private ensure encapsulation ensure exclusive access to any mutable object fields don't let a client get a reference to a field that is immutable object don't allow any mutable representation exposure the final keyword the final unchangeable and un unable to be re redefined or overridden uh, can be used with local variables values can be set once and can never be changed fields static fields they become class constant classes the class becomes unable to be subclass methods the method becomes unable to be overridden effective java step 17 design and document for inheritance are else prohibited by making user your class final examples of final on local variable final init answer 42 on a field private final string name static set in constant on a static constant public static final in the init day seven on a class public final class point no class can extend point on a method public final uh, init get x no class can override get x not necessarily classes uh, already final final references setting a reference variable uh, final means that it can never be reassigned to uh, refer to a different object you can't uh, set that reference to uh, refer to another object later it does not mean that object state can never change use caution when allowing clients to do work objects field even if it is final the client might be able to modify the object final point p one new point three comma five p1 is equal to new point four comma seven error final uh, p1 dot uh, translate one comma two allow uh, whoops p1 uh, x, x equal to three y equal to five becomes x equal to four and seven mutable fraction class the public class uh, fraction implements a uh, Clonable, comparable uh, fraction, private uh, init numerator generator, uh, public uh, fraction init n, public fraction init n init t, public uh, init get numerator get denominator, public by set numerator init n, set denominator init t, public fraction clone init, uh, public init compared to fraction uh, other, public boolean equals uh, object O, public string to string. Public void add a fraction other, public void subtract fraction other, public multiply uh, fraction other, public divide fraction other. How do we make this class immutable? Immutable fraction class, public final class fraction implies implements comparable fraction, public final init numerator denominator, public fraction init n, public fraction init n, comma init d, public init get numerator, get denominator, no more uh, set uh, n d methods. No clone method needed. Public unit compared to fraction other. Public boolean equals object O. Public string uh, to string. Public fraction add fraction other. Pass mutators. Public fraction subtract fraction other. Um, or producers. Public fraction multiply fraction other. Uh, written a new object. Public fraction divide fraction other. Immutable methods. Mutable version. Uh, public void add fraction other. Numerator. Numerator star other dot denominator plus other dot denominator start denominator denominator is denominator start other dot denominator reduce uh, private helper to reduce fraction immutable fraction uh, public fraction add fraction other in it n numerator start other dot denominator plus other dot numerator plus start denominator in it t denominator start other star denominator return new fraction in comma d former mutators become producers create return a new immutable object rather than modifying this one. A functional state maps input object to output objects. Document immutability in your doc, Java documents. You should always document whether your class is immutable. If a class is immutable, then specify document which methods modify mutate the object under what circumstances they mutate it, in what way they mutate it. Java docs, uh, Java docs modify stack include this as necessary. Is it mutable? Point P1 new uh, point 5 comma 7, point P2 new point 2 comma 8, line line, new line P comma P1 comma P2, P1 dot translate 5 comma 10, move point P1. Is the line class mutable or immutable? 
Uh, it depends on the implementation. If it creates an internal copy of P1 P2, P2 it inevitably restores a reference to P1, P2, not well. Thus, a storing immutable object in an immutable class can expose its internal documentation that is bad. Is it the immutable, immutable public class uh, course, uh, private final set weekly days, public course uh, string name in it created uh, set weekly days? This days, days, public set weekdays, get days, uh, 10 days. Is the uh, course class mutable or immutable? What if we remove or modify the get days method? Example client mutation set weekly days, days, net ash set weekday, day, um, day start at weekday dot Monday, day start at weekday dot Wednesday, uh, course C, new course CSC 31 or the uh, comma days. They start at weekday, start Friday. C is modified. Since the post stores a direct copy of the setup days plus feed, the object is in fact mutable. What should the course author do if he or she wants to provide a truly immutable class? Immutable collections, collections class in Java utilize these static methods for wrapping up a given collection in an immutable casing, unmodifiable collection, COOL, unmodifiable list. list Unmodifiable map, map, unmodifiable set, set. It is an immutable wrapping around the given collection. Any object that tries to mutate the wrapped collection, this is an unsupported operation exception. List strings name new array list string name dot add. Uh, post the list to a method I don't trust. Evil method collections dot unmodifiable list names. Representation exposure, representation exposure when an object allows other put examine or modify its internal data structures, a bad thing. In a law of D meter, an object should know as little as possible about the internal structure of uh, other objects with which it interacts. An object, especially an immutable one, should not expose this substance change by returning a reference to its internal goodies, something called a shallow immutability, if not done properly. If your object has an internal collection, don't return it or return a copy or an immutable wrapper or date. If your object as immutable object as fails, don't let um, object clients access them. Copy them if sent in from on the outside. Pros, cons of immutability. Immutable objects are simple. You know uh, what uh, state they are in, the state in which they are uh, wrapped around. Immutable objects can be freely shared among code. You can pass them, return them, Etc. without fear of damage. Immutable objects are also inherently threat safe. Uh, inherently, threats are seen later. Con immutable objects can consume more memory. New uh, need a unique instance for each unique uh, abstract values use. For current factory methods and other techniques can help to consolidate equivalent objects seen later. Mutability and collections. If you place a mutable object into a hash three collection, mutate it, then such worry the object may be lost. Uh, time dinner, uh, new time, seven comma zero zero two. Set time, set uh, new uh, tree set time, set uh, dot add new time, eight comma zero zero false breakfast. You set dot add new time, 12 comma zero zero two lunch, set dot add dinner. In a system out print line, set dot contains new time, seven comma zero zero two, uh, breakfast dot ship 30. Uh, system of print lines that contains new time seven thirty true false. Where did my dinner go? What what is wrong? Temporally mutable uh, mutability. Another option where then pure immutability is too restrictive. Give the class an initial mutable state. I have a method you can call to look lock the object state after it has been locked. No more changes uh, are permitted. For this to make sense, you should not provide an easy way to unlock it. Course, course, new course, uh, CSC 31, water, that spring, uh, course, add uh, student gym, course, add student soup, course, lock registration, course, add student bomb, exception. What is class design? Class design decide the contents of a known class as a set of classes that will effectively solve a given problem. That is, classes are told to you by designer, instructor, etc., but you have to decide the details of what uh, does goes into each class. It differs from OO design, 
which also involves coming up uh, with exactly what classes are needed. In the first place, class design references, object oriented design, linguistics in the area, object oriented design and patterns, art span, affected Java by plot. Method design, a method uh, should do, do only one thing and do it well. A method should not uh, both access and use it except in rare cases. EJ tip uh, party design method signatures carefully avoid long parameter list rather than four parameters. If the method needs seven parameters, maybe something wrong, especially prone to errors if the parameters are all the same type. Avoid methods that take lots of Boolean flags parameters. EJ tip party one use overlearning judiciously, overlearning two methods with the same name. Different parameters can be useful, but don't overload with the same number of parameters and think about whether the methods really are related. Field design, a variable should be made into a field if and only if it is part of the inherent internal state of the object. It has a value that retains meaning throughout the object's life. Its state must persist past the end of the any one public method. All other variables can be can and should be local to the method in which they are used. Fields should not be used to avoid parameter passing. Not every constructor parameter always need to be a field. Sometimes we make exceptions for this efficiency. Uh, linked list less size, but do not prematurely optimize caching values is often bad. Constructor design constructors should take all arguments necessary to initialize object state, no more, no less. Don't make the client pause in things they should not have to. Example, public student string name in it SAD. Why not pass the student's course? Now, object uh, should be completely initialized after constructor is done. Should not need to call other methods to finish initializing it. Not public student string name, then calling set C A S A D S A D. Minimize the work in the constructor. Constructor should not uh, do any everywhere such as calling print line to print state or performing uh, expensive computations. If an object's creation is a weight, use a static method instead. Naming, choose good names for classes and interfaces. Class names should be nouns. So watch out for uh, verb plus error names. Example, manager, scheduler, uh, shape, displayer. Interface names often end in able, able, Iterable, comparable um, method names uh, should be where presses access as method can be known such as size out of quantity. Most access should be named with get uh, or is as most, most materials should be named with set or similar. And choose affirmative positive names or negative ones. Is safe, not is unsafe. Is empty, not as no elements. EJ tip 56 adhere to generally accepted naming conventions. Class design C words, good things that you should strive when designing classes. Cohesion, every class should represent a single abstraction. Completeness, every class should present a complete interface. Clarity, interface should make sense without confusion. Con convenience, uh, provide a simple ways for clients to do. Common toss, consistency in, in the names, parameter returns, ordering, and behave a bad thing that you should try to minimize, uh, coupling, amount, uh, and level of interaction between classes. Completeness, um, completeness, uh, every class should present a complete interface, leaving out important methods make uh, a class cumbersome to use. Counter example, a collection with add but no remove. Counter example, a tool with object with a set highlighted method to select it, but no set unlighted method to deselect it. Counter example, date, class has no date, arithmetic features, related objects uh, that have a natural ordering should implement. Comparable objects that made a duplicate should implement equals. Almost all objects should uh, implement to string. Open closed principle, open closed principle software entities should be open for extension but closed for modification. When features are added to your system, do so by adding new classes or reusing existing ones in new ways. If possible, don't make change by modifying existing ones. The reason existing course work, changing it can introduce bugs and errors. Related code to interfaces, not to classes. Example, accept a list parameter, not array list. 
are linkless uh, they have to do they have to objects by their interfaces cohesion cohesion every class uh, should represent a single abstraction it should represent one thing not uh, several and do it well keep related and uh, data and behavior in one place uh, in one place together counter example student application appointment should learn that, that keeps track of all info about a student and it is our our appointments and schedules, uh, schedules them counter example poker game class that manages all the players the chips on the table the current betting down computer a strategies and some objects lack question because they are insignificant uh, often insignificant objects are better than as enums example card show gender day of the week the expert pattern expert pattern the class that contains the majority of the data needed to perform the task should perform the task counter example be a class with lots of getters accesses not a lot of methods that actually would do work lays out other classes to get the data and process uh, it actionally abstractions law ask not uh, what you can do with an object ask what an object can do for, uh, for itself why duplication only one class should be responsible for maintaining a set of data even if the data is used by many other classes clarity convenience clarity and interface you should make sense without creating confusion every event without fully reading the spec docs a client should largely be able to follow his sir natural intuitions about how to use your class counter example iterates remove method convenience provide a simple ways for clients to do common tasks if you have a size index of include e empty contains two for example java arrays no big with counter example system dot in sucks finally check with scanner counter example collections class as a the fixed flaws in list consistency consistency a class or an interface should be consistent with respect to names parameters returns ordering and behavior use a similar naming scheme accept parameters in the same order bad set uh, first uh, init index string value and set loss string value comma uh, init index counter example date gregorian calendar use zero based months Uh, counter example string equals in your case uh, compare toggle to ignore case but region matches boolean ignore um, uh, case to ignore case counter example string length uh, dot length array dot length collection dot size loss of demeter law demeter an object should know as little as possible about the internal structure of other objects with which it is interacts an object especially an immutable one should not expose its representation by returning a reference to its internal goodies sometimes called shallow immutability if not done properly representation exposure when an object allows other code to examine or modify its internal data structures a bad thing if you are object as an internal collection don't return it or return a copy or an immutable wrapper if you are immutable object as mutable objects as fields don't let kinds access them copy them if sent in from outside log dbt violation bad general dot get kernel dot get major m dot get caption cap dot get sergeant sir dot get um, private name dot dig fox hole now prepared intimacy to date can chain of coupling between classes better general dot supervise fox hole m comma cap comma sir comma name and other should send messages only to the following to itself this its instant variables methods parameters any object it creates any object returned by a call to one of this method any object in a collection of java notably absent object return my message sent to other objects coupling the yeah, amount of interaction and classes part of a system to simplify split this in into parts that don't interact much my final project and application a poor decomposition parts strongly coupled finally final project and main and a better decomposition partly parts weakly coupled 
final project bank. Coupling leads to complexity, coupling leads to confusion, uh, confusions leads to suffering. Invariance, class invariant, and assertion that is true about an uh, object or class uh, throughout its lifetime. Uh, example, a bank account's balance will never be negative. Think carefully about what invariants are important for class, uh, state them in your documentation and post them in your code. What invariants are there uh, on the state of these classes, time, course, uh, a item purchase um, uh, shopping cart, um, array list, hash map. Documenting a class, keep internal and external documentation separate, external uh, slash store, store, uh, store uh, slash doc, doc, um, adopt class and methods, describe things that clients need to know about the class should be specific enough to exclude an acceptable implementation with general enough to allow are all correct implementation, include all pre post conditions and class invariants, internal slash slash comments inside the methods bodies, describe details of how the code is implemented, information that uh, clients would not and should not need, but a fellow developer working on this class would want, missing either of these types of documentation for style. The role of documentation, carrying and plug around the role of documentation if your program is incorrect. It matters little what uh, the document say. If document is, does not agree with the code, it is not um, uh, worth much. Consequently, code must largely document itself, if not rewrite the code rather than increasing the documentation of the existing complex code. Good code needs fewer documents than bad code. Comments uh, should provide additional information from the code itself. They should not echo the code. Mnemonic variable, names and labels, and a layout that emphasizes the logical structure helps make a programmer self-documenting. Static code is not static design. What members should um, what members should be static members that are related to an entire class, not related to data inside a particular object of the class type. Key questions should I have to construct an object just to call this method. Example time dot from string method calendar dot guest instance, number uh, formatter dot get currency instance arrays dot uh, to string question mark, collection dot short question mark. Public versus private design uh, strive to minimize the public interface of the classes. You are right. While still adhering to the preceding design principles, client like classes that are simple to use and understand achieve a minimal public uh, interface by removing unnecessary methods, making everything private and less absolutely necessary, pull, pulling out unrelated behavior into a separate class. Public static constant are okay if declared final, but still better to have a public static method to get the value Y. Choosing types, number, uh, numbers favor init and log for most memory computation, EJ tip 48, avoid float and double, if that numbers are required, classic example, representing money, round off uh, is bad here, favor the use of collections, example lists or uh, over arrays, and uh, string are often overused since much data, in, uh, comes in as text uh, considered use enums even with only two values bad uh, home dot set temperature 972 Celsius good dot one set temperature 97 temperatures dot Celsius proper um, type should be used minimally usually with collections EJ tape for nine prefer primitive types to box primitive bad public counter character ch View in, uh, independence uh, can find uh, user interaction to a core set of view classes and isolate this from the classes that maintain the key system data. Example, shopping main, Schiedler, GI. Do not put print line statements in your uh, core classes. And this lock your code into a text representation, make it less useful if the client wants a GUI, a web app, etc. Instead, uh, have your Core classes written data that can be displayed by the view classes, bad, public, void, print, myself, good, public, string, to string. This is actually suppose we are writing a birthday reminder app and we have decided that it need the following classes, day and represent a particular day on which the birthday can calls, but says represent all people whose birthdays I want to remember and what field do they have, what contest do they have, what methods do they have, provide static. Is there anything we can leave out? What invention should we guarantee? Thank you.